And I think we are ready to start this whole shebang once again. How's everyone doing? Hope you all got caught up on all the vids that I suddenly just freaking uploaded all at once, but I had a timetable to keep. And a lot of other things that needed to have occurred within that time. So, without further ado, we're actually going to be finishing this stuff tonight, come hell or high water. And I've taken the extra precautions of making sure of that. Aside from other things, I've changed the shirt. I've actually found my hat in game. And the entire navy is sufficiently leveled up with the matching items needed to be good. I think we're in a favorable position to tackle all of this. So we're just going to get right into it, right where we left off. And last time I checked, we needed to go to the train station to head to the last city, whatever it's called again. Mm. Either which way, we're just going to do that. There is something else I wanted to check. It's train station. Oh, nope. Wait up, Viger. I'm coming too. I had Raihan beat in no time. Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that that is. <laughs> and you never stop nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favorite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Viger. So I'll ring out every last thing I've learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, Viger. That train's waiting. There's something I wanted to check unless we're just, nope, we're just already hopping on the train, so. Never mind that. We're finally headed to Winden. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's that big tower and the monorail and Winden Stadium where the whole of Galar, no, the whole world will be watching us. You get it, right? You and me are going to make our match the greatest match that ever was. Uh, if you've been seeing how much time I've been spending in the wild area, you really understand how outclassed you are right now. No, sorry, not sorry. So here we are in all of its snowy glory. So this is Route 10. It's like a wall made out of snow. But there will be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Viger. Regan will be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I believe in myself and the team Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll all get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you at Winden. Or, yeah, Winden. I think that's how you pronounce it. And, of course, I'll take those. Free cash. Right. Mr. Mime, the Gallic region variant. <laughs> the War Spite is way stronger. Like so. Sorry. All of them. Way stronger. Raid battling really gives you all the items that you need to continue on with this. Well, hunched over in the crevices of this cavern, I wouldn't think you were a doctor. Oh, a Gardevoir. Well, uh, perfect horse spite. Teach it a lesson! Uh, 
Unfortunately, Richard, I cannot Gigantamax Hie. She is not a Gigantamax Colossal, which is how I would have to obtain her. Just like how Warspike can't Gigantamax either because he isn't a Gigantamax capable Carbonite. You have to find Gigantamax Pokemon in a Max Raid battle and catch them as is. That's how that whole thing works. Which, case in point, brings me to something that I do need to show you guys. Something that I've been working on as sort of a secret weapon, if need be. Where is she? There she is. Nagato, the Scent of Scorch. And not only that, if you would check that symbol next to her name, that's the Gigantamax symbol. S Nagato can Gigantamax. As opposed to just a regular Dynamax that everyone else is capable of right now. So, yeah, unfortunately the team that I have as of right now isn't capable of Gigantamaxing. Nevertheless, they are still incredibly strong in their own right. And I think I'll actually, because of all the prevalent ice types that I'm probably going to be encountering. Prenzoigen and Hie are going to lead the fight, lead the team. As we just make our way up here. Oh, there's somebody blocking our path. Hi. <laughs> Oh, he's got an Ultra Ball. He ain't messing around. Case in point, putting Prince Oigen at the front is this. I'll just cream him with a Pyro Ball. One salvo right to the face. I didn't get who that was, but neither either way, Mudsdale. Okay, so actually keeping Prince Oigen out in the fight would have been a better choice. But despite the fact, we are leagues ahead of everyone here because of all the freaking max rate battles that I've been doing and all the EXP candies that I've been acc accruing from those. I hate to say it, but I think Leon's in way over his head right now. Oh, jeez. This sneeze I wanted a piece of me, I guess. Very well. Time to meet thy maker. With a swift kick to the face. Oh, you moved. That was my bad foot. I'll go with the good foot now. Right, this hail is going to be a pain to everyone but Turpits. Oh, I gained some watts from that. Interesting. Now this, I don't think I've caught a Snover yet. So let's see if I can catch a Snover real quick. No, I have not. With my last Quick Ball, you'll turn into an Obama Snow that gets me closer to my completed Pokedex. That's how that works. So Snover, the frost tree Pokemon. The berries that grow around its belly are like ice pops. Galarian Daruma Darumaka absolutely love these berries. Yada yada bing bop boop. There's a way around to that. 
Oh, I ran into another Sneasel. <clears throat> also think my team is at full affection for me too, so that's another thing. I've been doing a lot of camping. Be surprised you wanting to meet a Gigantamax Hie, but Hie is the key to defeating Gigantamax Charizard. A quad or just a double weakness to Hiei's typing, and that's all that I need to know about that. So let's see. Oh yeah, let's just go let's just round out exactly what we're dealing with right now. So Plenzoiga knows counter, Pyroball, Blaze Kick, and Bounce. Hie knows Flame Charge, Rock Blast, Heat Crash, and Tar Shot. Rune knows Shadow Claw, Earthquake, Bulldoze, and Will-O-Wisp. Unicorn knows Dazzling Gleam, Heal Pulse, Psycho Cut, and Stomp. Turpitz now knows Ice Beam as opposed to her signature Frost Breath, Shadow Ball, Hail, and Confuse Ray. War Spite knows Drill Pick, Brave Bird. He cashed in Steel Wing for Iron Head and still has Hone Claws. And we're back at the front. Oh, and also, Frenzoigen's holding the charcoal. Hie has leftovers. Rune has leftovers. Unicorn has the ant coin amulet. Torpitz has the Never Melt Ice, and War Spite also has his own leftovers. Speaking of which, now that we're going to be going into some trainer-heavy battles, Unicorn, you are out of the front now. We are going to get some cash money, cash money. Despite the fact that I have a literal crap ton of money right now from all the treasure that I've been getting from my max raid battles. <coughs> mm. oh, would you look at that? A revile. Good thing I'm sending out the fairy type in this. Oh no, pressure. Whatever shall I do except set up camp to counteract that if need be. Boom. Well, it's not to say that I wouldn't be able to get a Gigantamax Colossal and Shield. I would have to have one of my friends find a Gigantamax Colossal to encounter. And go from there. Just yesterday, I did get a Gigantamax Sandaconda, so I was excited for that. He's been helping me out a ton, but I haven't picked out a name for him just yet. Alright, Tear Pits, use the Ice Beam. Boom. Bada bing, bada boop. Hey, you keep doing your business. Serious business. So we go this way. It's probably an item somewhere in those trees. In that brush area. I hear him say something, something, Corv Knight. Yep, there it is. Like I'm not prepared for this. Now here's the thing, Unicorn is at a severe disadvantage when going up against a Carbonite. However, given the fact that there is a near 50 level discrepancy between the two, something like this happens. Or she can almost one-shot him. And that, the type effect of this not going into his favor. Which is a darn shame. And that's that. Loves the fact that I was able to get a crit. This Carbonite is down. Heard by the hail. Flygon. Well, what do you know? I have someone who is the perfect counter for that in this very, very situation. Turpits. The Lone Queen of the North. Land a nice, perfect ice beam on him. And done. 
I also helped one of my friends in one of the max, max raid battles catch a giant. Oh, there goes the red Joy Con. Oh, that went far. Give me a sec. There we go. Now, where was I? Right! One of my friends, Dr. Shamu, encountered a Gigantamax Garboder, which I did help him catch. He even had to sink his own Master Ball into it to get to it. And I believe its name is currently Toy Story 5, the last time I checked. Now then. Do I want to keep leading with Unicorn just for the money, or do I want to just have some fun? Yeah, we'll keep leading with Unicorn for the time being. Or if I wanted to just keep blazing things up with freaking Prince Eugen. Oh, this poor bird has no idea how it's gonna go down. Oh, it's just immediately going to change the weather into both of our favors. I'm down with that. Thanks for the rain, now I'm not going to get hit by the hail. I didn't catch who that was, not down. Cool. You seriously did not bring good Pokemon to this fight. Two birds against a magic horse. And that's all that he wrote thanks to the money, pal. Yep, there's something here. Comet shard. Cool. Ah, I keep running into freaking sneezes. I don't have time to deal with you guys. And thanks to the fact that Unicorn's out and has freaking Runaway, I don't even have to freaking worry about that. That's just going crazy in the back, trading 6 IV dittos to anyone who wants them. And then, yeah, let's keep going with Unicorn and lead. Hello, Beartic. I just know there's something over here. Yep, there it is. Thank you. Oh, he's coming for me. Not happening. Alright, what have you got at your disposal? Gigalith. This one's actually going to last. I admired that. Ooh, and it's already kicking up the sandstorm. And... Oh, well that's interesting. No sturdy on that thing. Unfortunate for them. Now, who's coming out? Ride on. Which is, I believe is mono ground. So I'll just get Turpets out to deal with it. Just a quick Ice Beam straight to the horn, we'll be fine. Bada bing, bada boop. Sorry, not sorry, give me the money. And then this guy looks exceptionally rich. There's two people up there, so I'm gonna need to reconfigure some things on my team just so that I know who's going up against the next two guys. Darmanitan, no doubt. That looking thing. It's like the freaking bumble from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I think is what they were sort of kind of going for, maybe? But either way, you're dead like the rest. 
don't even get to change. I'm gonna need to get some potions on Unicorn by the end of this. Phalanx. Right, these little guys. Too bad. And right, it knows first impression. Too bad it's dead. I guess Phalanx operates like a hive mind, which is sort of creepy. Grapple Lock, that's a solid fighting type. Means Unicorn was the best matchup to basically everything here. Thank you for the minimal XP that you had for me. And thank you for the money. Yeah. All 18,400 of it. Now, uh, yeah, that's what I was looking at. So, yeah, we'll have Unicorn and Hiei take the front. But first things first. Finally use out these freaking super potions. Let's get the team up to snuff health wise. Alright, you two. Standing out in the freezing tundra. Something and a clink clang. Heliolus. Perfect. So, Unicorn's gonna Psycho Cut Heliolisk, and Hie is going to. F no. He crash. Clink clang. And you're going faster. Loves it when she lands the critical hits. Helios gets down. Ooh, Clink Clang's faster. To bet it's using an unwise move, right, in this situation. And here comes the Hie. And that's all she wrote. Oh, they've got more Pokemon if we're still getting hit by the hail. Hiei's leftovers kicks in, neutralizing the hail. Noivern. That's bad on both parts. And Togetamaru. That's still bad on both parts. So, Psycho- nope, not Psycho Cut. We'll just Dazzling Gleam and she may kill both. And then we'll just Heat Crash Togetamaru for the- for good measure. Yep, I didn't think so. That steel typing is a mother to punch through, even with a 40 level discrepancy. 50 level almost to that degree. Oh, that's not good. Mainly because of the paralysis. But the rodent is flattened. For good measure. Ooh, and it had iron barbs, too. Again, a darn shame. But thank you, nonetheless, for all the money. Pleasure doing business with you. Now, what's up here? Oh. Well, that doesn't look ominous whatsoever. I like how the not clearly evil tower clearly doesn't have some evil tentacles spiraling up it. That's cool. That's awesome. That is totally not evil in any sense of the word. So here we are, Windon. Oh, the 
there's a clothes shop that I'm gonna need to take a look at. There's a lot of different things going on here. Clearly a London inspiration, but that's our end game right there. All right, Windon City. This is the place where I've become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it. I've, I'm headed straight for Windon Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Vagar. You should head there yourself. You do that, but I need to check some things out now that I have all this money to burn. Also, just a quick top off at the Pokemon Center, just in case. Save some resources. Mainly healing the points up in my attacks so that they're all good to go. Sixteen of you guys and counting are here. Cool. Now then. Let's check this place out. What do you got in store for me, ma'am? So no shirts, that's cool. Some track jackets. Ooh, I like... That was just a notification. I like this one. Motorcycle jackets. That's cool. Some sweatpants. Alright. Some studded leathers. Uh, that's alright. Socks. Or no, those are just leggings. Shoes. Those don't make sense at all. And then the travel bag, which is still just a freaking tube on my back. Oh, hey. That's like my old bag, but with different decor. And then just a big old travel case. I actually like the white and black. Let's do that. And hat-wise, there's going to be nothing that will surpass what I'm already wearing right now, so. I mean, that's just, yeah, that's just a beret. I don't wear berets. I'm not a glasses guy. Oh, here we go. Just one glove. On my right hand, we will go with the black one because it contrasts well with my skin. So it sticks out more. We're done for now. I'd like to find a good jacket of my own to wear. Nope, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I'm done shopping. Just buying a new bag and, and a one singular glove. I think that's all we really need to do right now. So let's head to Windon Stadium. So I'm totally just gonna breeze right up there, no problems whatsoever, and just get right to the fighting. There's to there's gonna be no absolutely no interjection of story whatsoever. It's not like I've been playing these games for years and don't know how they actually work. Let's do this, shall we? Viger, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like BD couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow I didn't think he'd just take being disqualified lying down. You know what I mean? I guess it is what it is. Come on, Viger. We should head to the locker room. Attention gym challengers who have made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you are ready. So we're just gonna do a quick save. And I don't think putting, well no, putting Unicorn out in front is probably a good spot to do. So let's see what we can encounter here. Make our way to the pitch. Number 13, taking the field. Oh, hey, it's Marnie. 
Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> I knew you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that's that there's been a lot between us with my big brother, Team Yell, helping the Spike Moth and all that. But the truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to become the champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. You say this now. But clearly, you are not prepared for what I have in store. <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm good. Yep, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. All right. And as per the use. Terrible first choice. The dark type against my fairy type. And it doesn't even try to get a freaking attack off. Like I said, Marnie, you are not prepared for this in the slightest bit. Toxic Rogue. Oh lord, you really did not diversify your team enough from the fairy types. Especially from something like Unicorn. So uh, I'ma just do that. Take care of you there. So Toxic Rogue is taken care of. He has Ancient Closer to hit in that lovely level 22. Scrafty. Again, poor choice against Unicorn. So we're just gonna do the Dazzling Gleam, be done with that. More Pico. Just keep doing it like this. Right. And dazzling gleam. Done and done. Grim snarl. Now, I think this is where it's gonna get pretty interesting. So, we're gonna send Prince Eigen out. I've got everyone's cheers back in me. I'm really, really gonna w win this time. Got it? Uh, no Dynamax for here, for this one. Oh, no, there it is. I forget, I totally forgot how this freaking works. She's probably gonna Gigantamax this thing. Or at least Dynamax it, but let's finish this off real good. Plenzigen, open fire. My bro might not use it, but I'll Gigantamax my Pokemon if it's no use. So here we go. Gigantamax Grimmsnarl, who stands tall and proud. <laughs> Literally matching Prenzeugen in height. I'm gonna catch all that hair on fire. Just like that. So again, to reiterate friendship, how Gigantamax Pokemon work, they can only be obtained in the wild area. 
None of the Pokemon that I have on my team have been encountered in the wild area, or at least through max raid battles in the wild area. So not even Hie or Roar Spike can Gigantamax, though I do have a Gigantamax capable Carbonite, but it's just not War Spite. I'm using this team all the way through for sentimental reasons, so... They're the ones I've caught, they're the ones I've started with, and they're the ones you know all too well, so... Okay, so I lost. But I got a lot to see a lot of good points of you and your Pokemon. And thank you for the double money, thanks to Unicorn! Everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but... At least we drove the audience wild. Yes, that's not so bad. I think I'll join my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. Bada bing bada boop. Viger! I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcomes besides winning this match. My team is on fire! In more ways than one. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match before yours ended more qu- But the match before yours ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handedly, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Cool! Good for Hop. He's doing good. He's my favorite rival so far, because he actually has some freaking character developments. But either way, number 13, heading back onto the pitch. And it's hot. Speak of the devil. I just had this sort of flashback, you know? Remember? Back when we were still in Postwick. When you got our when we got our Pokemon from Lee that day. I never would have dreamed that I'd end up standing here, facing you of all people. But it's time I finish what we start what was started that day. Got it? The one who'll become champion is me. Oh, I would love you to become champion just for your own character growth and your own sake, but I'm the player here. And there's only one way that this is gonna go. So we get our farm animals out. <laughs> Please tell me you have a full team. We battled back in the garden, but I'm really, really fired up for this match in the stadium. You still don't have a full team. You take one step forward and then two steps back. I love you. I really do, but come on. Still not even a full team. Pin Urchin. That's the electric type. The electric sea urchin. So rude. Unicorn swept all of Marnie's susceptible Pokemon, but Hop I know has a little bit of variety. So Rune will go out and take care of Pin Urchin. With a good old earthquake. Bamboosh bonk. Yes, you should know this by now, huh? Snorlax. No, we'll actually go with Hie. On this one. Let's see how many rock blasts it takes for a level 92 Colossal to take out a level 47 Snorlax. Let us see how many it takes. One. Two. Uh, it'll probably take three. Oh! 
that actually did something. How's that? I learned a lot by studying Lee's old matches. Yeah, but the level discrepancy between the two of us. So we'll just finish this with one more rock blast in the face. Yep. Three. Unicorn's closing in on 94. PA will just do a little bit of Healy Healy right there. Carbonite. Let's have this. Nope. We'll have Turpits take him out. Just to emphasize the level that I'm operating on, I'll go in with a type deficiency. And I hate to do this, but I'll add insult to injury. Confuse Ray. Better still going, better still going. Ooh, that was not the move you wanted to use. And then Ice Beam. It's probably going to survive it. Just because of that steel typing. But the flying type makes up for it. Rillaboom. Well, there's only one Mon that can take on Rillaboom. It's the one that keeps Okoing him into oblivion. Prenz Eugen. Think you got me backed into a corner? No way! This'll just make my victory all the better! It's a battle of the Dy Dynamax starters. And as insult to injury, it'll be a max flare under the effects of Pyro Ball. Plans Eugen, you know what to do. All guns open fire. Release all the thoughts poured into my wishing star. Time for Dynamax! That's a good throw. <laughs> he stumbles a little bit in the back. You are not even gonna get a hit off. I'm so sorry, Rillaboom, but it is what it is, like it is always. Every time, every time, it keeps happening. Rillaboom just gets O-Code by Prenzoyu. And Unicorn went up on the level. Nicely done, Prenzoyu. Yep. Liger. Thanks, mate. I'm really glad you were the one here with me. Oh, I'm sorry, but the game has me with no choice. And the victor of the semifinals, the challenger who has won their way through all of the many hopeful trainers in the gym challenge is Challenger Viger, number 13. You know, even when Sonya was saying that you and me looked like we could become heroes, I really never felt like one. But you, mate, I think maybe you really could do all sorts of great things. Good on you, Viger. And Rabidash and all the rest of your team. You mean Unicorn. That's neither here nor there. Oh boy. Viger. That was incredible. Brilliant. Honestly, there were even tears rolling down my face before I knew it. To think that the two of you set out together from the same town, built up the greatest teams, and arrived here at this point to throw everything you had at one another. That burning desire to win, those moves filled with undefeatable passion. 
It was battling at its very purest, in every possible way. Even though there were some trainers who weren't sure whether you fit to be in, were fit to be endorsed for the gym challenge at first, it was you, Lee. Well then, all the more reason. My team members and I will give everything that we've got in us to defeat our challenger. And the challenger standing before us might well end up being you, Viger. In fact, that's precisely what I'm hoping for. That's right, Viger. The real challenge is what's coming next. And I'm completely exhausted. I just want to head back to the hotel and rest. Best to refill your energy stores first. Why don't we go get some dinner together? I wouldn't say no, but... You never care all about what food tastes like, Lee. A night like this, a night like this deserves more than rubbish takeaways, so at least pick something good. If you can find it at first. So here we are. Challenger Viger! Hey, Challenger Viger! Got some time for questions? First question. You and Challenger Hop were both endorsed by the champion, making the two of you rivals in a sense, wouldn't you say? How does it feel to have defeated your rival? It was just luck that I won. Being the humble type. Right, question to achievement knows. If you wanted to challenge challenge if you wanted to tell Challenger Hop something right now, what would it be? Hmm. That he was just the rival I knew him. I'd be I'd thank him for the great match. Question three. Level with me, Keto. Your honest thoughts here. Think you can win the finals too? I absolutely do. Alright, that's enough. Viger's already tired from battle. And you've been asking rather rude questions. We've got ourselves dinner plans with my brother, so sorry, but clear off already, would you? <laughs> yes, yes, I understand. Looking forward to seeing the birth of a new star. Yeah, 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 get out of here. <sighs> Famous people sure have it rough, eh? I hope Lee gets here soon. I could eat my own arm about now. Oh, don't... Yep, several hours later. He's lost again. This is absurd. Even Lee's never that this late. Something's not right. He always does what he says he'll do. As a kid, he promised me he'd become champion one day, and he went and did just that. He ought to be able to keep his own dinner plans. Kid, <laughs> kid sure got a mouth on him, huh? If you were that noisy during battle, you'd then leave... <coughs> oh, oh, sorry. My lungs can't really take this. You'd unleash a whole new level of power, you know. Oh, pack it in, Piers. I'm seriously worried here. So I don't need to see your smug mug looking like you've had, you're having a go at me, even though you act like you're giving me good advice. Judging appearances? No wonder you lost to your mate. If you're looking for the champion, I saw him heading to Rose Tower. Why would he go there? Don't know what he's up to, but I ran into him at the monorail platform. He said to tell you that he had something to do at Rose Tower so he'd be late to your dinner. Why Rose Tower? What could he have had to do there at this hour? Piers, do us a favor. Take us to Rose Tower, would you? Neither Viger nor I know the way. Jeez, what rude siblings, always so demanding of each other's. No, I suppose. It's a real problem for me, too, if the finals are held up for any reason. And I don't really hate the two of you little runts. So you were good enough to beat me, after all. So I think I'll invite Team Yell along, and we'll all have ourselves a bit of fun, shall we? Brilliant! You're the best, Piers. Let's go make a real ruckus. <coughs> oh, I need my water back. Oh, water. Not looking forward to having to voice Piers anymore. <laughs> And we're back at it. <clears throat> that does a number on my throat. Oh, and the drift sent me right back in. Get moving down there. 
Okay, let's go. Man, why am I here for this? I'm totally exhausted from that battle with you, Viger. We decided that Team Yellow will cheer you on, Viger. Let's help out together. What a beautiful display of sibling love. However, it is entirely unnecessary. Oh, it's you. Miss Aline? Or Lena? Chairman Rose is with the champion in a very, very important meeting. There is no way I will let anyone interfere. After all, only un authorized personnel with the proper key can ride the monorail to Rose Tower. That means as long as Chairman Rose is in the tower, no one can disturb him. Well, that's doesn't bode well. I have hand-selected a member of the League staff and given them a key. Chairman Rose does enjoy this kind of menial games, after all. Do you think you can tell the difference between normal League staff and the one I chose? Do you think you can find me? What should we what should we do? Ugh, this isn't good, but I got this one. Vaga, team yells yelling will help will handle this. <laughs> no, this is brilliant. I'll search around the front of the stadium. For now, we should try to head to the plaza together, right? Yeah. Alright. Let's all work together and head for Rose Tower. Well, this kind of took a turn. Let's find Olinia's League staff member. That bad one was wearing those lame shades, right? <coughs> the black shades. So, not that guy. Not this guy. Not that guy. Mm. Oh, there's something sparkly over here. Nope. No. Of course, it's this guy. Hey, Viga, this bloke's awful shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising so I have no choice but to look this way. I already have the key, you know. What? Blast, I turned around. And I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. <laughs> Ma Macrocosmos? Eric, what kind of frick? Okay. Cool, pure steel type. I will take care of this. With a simple psycho cut. Bam. Durant. Oh lord, you just make this freaking too easy, dude. little things good. My tears really get you going. Thanks. I guess I can't see you, but I guess you're behind me on this. Blaze kick. And the metal ant with the poorest form of biological evolution is deaded. Thank you. Now hand that key over for me, Kate. Okay, thanks. Bye. It's a wonder how fast that guy could run. I've got no idea where he went. Ah, oh, great. Now I gotta look for him again. Nope. He ran this way. Still no one ended up there. Yeah, 
Yep, yeah, that's him. Hi. Oh, so we're just gonna go for this once more. <laughs> Mobile. I think I'm seeing a theme with these guys. Steel types. Good thing I picked the fire type. And good thing that Unicorn is so much stronger than all the steel types. Excadrill. No, actually, we're gonna use Rune. Oh, the irony that the mole type, that the mole Pokemon is gonna get taken out by a ground type. Oh, I feel that flow. Ow. Well, thanks for Sand Force. Have fun with that. Now I'm gonna just do this and kill you. Bada bing, bada boop, give me the money. And preferably the key card, please. They have they say hide a tree in a forest, so I thought I could hide myself in the crowd. And he's still running away from all of his problems. Nope. Nope. Probably over here somewhere. No. Nope. Oh, he's in the telephone booth. That's adorable. Hi. You're really making this easy. So technically he had a full team of six on his side. It's just that they all suck. There, Ferrisseed. Sorry. He's probably going to send out Ferrothorn after this. Nope, Steelix. So, in response to that, Panzoigan's coming out. Oh, I'm going to break these Joy Cons one way or another. Oh, well, thank you for the attack bonus. This is gonna hurt a lot for Steelix then. Bada bing, bada boop, and done. Got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. And your phone miscellanea is way worse than anything you lot can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yell, go find Hop. We'll corner that league staff member at the station together. We have my men thoughts. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, brother. Paying close attention. You did a cracker job of cornering that bad staff le lead staff member, Viger. Let me sing you a song fitting of your rockin' deeds. <coughs> the only <coughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I can't do his voice. <coughs> <coughs> oh, jeez. My voice is gonna get shot. I 
think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see what we see if we can get closer. Yep, cause as much commotion and get everyone to watch. <laughs> we got the key, Piers. We can take the monorail to the Rose Tower now. Viger, hop, now's your chance. Go, get out of here. We got it. Totally not evil tower right here. Just saying. Calling it like I see it. So this is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think this thing is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what should we do? Team Yellow is going to have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Viger, what should we do? Let's go on ahead. Good thinking. Let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you to challenge in the champion cup. Viger, you cleared the way you cleared the way to Rose Tower. Now all you gotta do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hid the monorail key to try and impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion hauled up inside. I wonder what he's plotting. Totally nothing evil, to say the least. Times like this, when tension and passion run high. Remind me of Spike Moth in the old days. <coughs> I don't know how long I can keep this up. No matter right, some right wild concerts we had back then, but no encores. Wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way when, with a yell. Gotta stick around to make sure my bro doesn't do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Viger. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna need anything. I think we're pretty well secure in this regard. Oh, I've got water. Don't mind me. I got that. <coughs> Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? Listen, Viger. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax our Pokemon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has, like, a hundred floors, right? You'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See, if Miss Alinea says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. <coughs> so something tell something's telling me that this that Miss Alinea is actually a bad person. Maybe, I don't know. But we will just see. But first, let me just wipe the floor. This guy. And it did Nooch, which is not good for you. I'm gonna just kill the ant. And then there's nothing you can do to stop me. Thank you. M my bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. Oh, that's just sad. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right. We're nearly to Chairman Rose. <clears throat> Hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Viger. Let's crack on. Yes. 
Oh boy. This is a big freaking elevator. This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Well, don't you know? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gala League's gym challenge. Yet, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the glorious high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles! They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. That's your voice? It totally is! So Macrocosmos, that's what I'm seeing a lot of right now. So, uh, it would appear that Unicorn is not really that well suited for facing off against these guys, but it is what it is. <coughs> but it looks like she's gonna be the one that's gonna be leading, and Hop's gonna be the one that's gonna be taking all the hits. Boom! Got them both. Thank you, thank you. If I've been defeated, I have no choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presents some danger, thus the presence of these walls constructed a void. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Can you stop talking like that? Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them up. Thank you for the extra attack power, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we go again. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall, but you are now on 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Because I'm about to chuck you off this tower. I might want to pay for anything. Oh, Lord. I'll just do the double dazzling gleam. The double dazzle. Mawile could not stand up for that. So you love it when it hits a crit. <laughs> and then the body slam. Oh, and the paralysis got hit up. And it got paralyzed. It couldn't do anything. Oh, that's just sad. So, so sad. Very, very sad. Psycho cut. Thank you very much. terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Just murder. That's very morbid. <laughs> We're still going. We're still not there. So you had one more door to the right that was gonna open up. There it is. You're nearly to the top, but you'll need not be me, Chairman! 
I've got no fear of heights, just spiders. I work high in the skies doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air, where there aren't any spiders. Except in Australia. There are flying spiders everywhere there. God, Steelix, I am sad with you. Stun fix, I'm just disappointed. I'll just dazzle and gleam everything. The question is, where is Stunfisk going to land? On double roll, of course. <clears throat> Let's psycho cut him. And boosh. Bada bing bada ba. That's all you two wrote, and hopefully we'll get to the top of this. Don't you presume to meet the chairman? You're not at the same level as such a great man! You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher up you go, the more important the people you find working there, and the less spiders, because they don't like the heights. Chairman Rose is at the top of the tower, and not just of this tower, but all of Galar, and every spider! Unlike spiders. Thanks for the health. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp. Let's do this. Yep. And we're at the top. What now? Oh, hi, Alinea. Let me just do one thing real quick. Let's lead with Rune. Just to be on the safe side for this. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you got through all the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I'm afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... I will not allow anyone to disturb the great chairman, Rose. You shall be the first, Viger. If I beat you to pieces, then the chairman will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Oh. She's BS crazy. Cool. Oh, you have a frost lass as well. That's adorable. I have a ghosty boy of my own. And oh, you can Dynamax as well. That's gonna be interesting. Shadow Claw Rune. Oh, he's gonna hex first. I'd expect her, I'd expect a frost lass to be faster, and Rune not to be as quick, but way stronger. Oh, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my Pokemon. That facade is gonna crack real soon. My Lodic. Yes, we will switch into War Spite. War Spite's at least got moves that will be neutral damage and yada yada, so on and so forth. Does she have a full team of Pokemon? No, she is one shy. Just like everybody in this freaking game. Drill Peck. 
Ooh, you barely hung on there, buddy boy. <coughs> and I'll give you a taste of real power. Brave bird. Hit a little bit on the recoil. The leftovers will heal that. Salazzle. I know that one. <laughs> Prenz or not Prenz. Runes got a good matchup to that. With a nice wholesome earthquake. Again, basically everything's faster than Rune, but nothing's stronger than Rune except some of my Pokemon, namely Prenz Eugen. Andrea, I'm gonna need you to stop spamming F in the chat real quick. <laughs> and then a quick heal on that. Serene. I know who needs to come out for that one. Prenz Eugen, burn the leg lady. And if it is her final Pokemon, then I know what I need to do. It is not. What else? She's got one more at her disposal, but a nice Pyro Ball straight to the face will take care of this. Serene is gone. You're on your last leg, Elenia. Oh, it's Garboder. Well, this is perfect for that economic boost that I needed. Unicorn! This is my last Pokemon. Seriously? Elenia's got to finish this? This is where the Gigantamax Garboder comes into play. So you'll Dazzling Gleam, Max Mindstorm this thing into oblivion. The biggest horse you've ever seen! And the biggest pile of crap you've ever seen. I think I'll treat you with something truly spectacular. And I'm crazy! If you look carefully embedded into the back of Gar Gigantamax Garboder's model, there's a Master Ball shoved in there. And we're done here. Thank you, thank you. Nicely done, a unicorn. <sighs> Wasn't able to win. Millennia, you really are a hopeless woman. Oh, don't try and pity your way out of this one. Ugh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish, there is nothing to be done now. Typical Viger. You and Runarigas are unstoppable. What do you mean? Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. I knew he was evil. Leon, we've been discussing this a hundred times already, and you still fail to understand what's at stake. You, who's supposed to be our champion. 
I think I understand well enough. That I, what I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Galar wants. And what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at all the Gala region stretched out before us. And now that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now, the people of Gala today will no longer even exist. What Gala wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly and as evilly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy, so that all can look forward to a better future where I rule the world. In a thousand years. Fine. Look, I think I can underst I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give you my word, I'll help you with your plans. Just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Yeah, that ain't happening. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie are all, and all those team yell oddballs. They all helped us out to get here. I must apologize, Hop, if we've made a worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride and villainy just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Viger. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. I'm going to need a little bit more of an answer to that. If you'll excuse me, or if you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose... And I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one for the history books. One for the history books? You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history to my own liking because I'm evil. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had butter butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Viger. The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another help of Hop and his trusty Rillaboom, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other league staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Alinea can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of league staff in secret to be deployed for, well, Things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Viger? Let's go, I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you the way to Winden Stadium? Yeah, sure, why not? Then let's be on our way. Now let's see how I want to configure this. Well, first things first, Unicorn will be the first to lead, just so I know I have the economic boost on my side. Viger! This is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. I think that's going to be reserved for somebody else. So go get yourself checked in. 
And will do. So let's do this. Challenger Viger, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through this final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. So, are you ready to go to the locker room now? You bet. Then I'll show you the way. Why, hello guys and all of your charismatic voices that I'm going to have to show again. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Heading to the field. Will you be heading out onto the pitch? The opening ceremony will be starting soon. Uh, hold on. Not yet. I don't need to speak to anybody for advice. I just want to save her real quick. Just in case things get bad. And now we're ready. To the pitch! For the opening ceremony of the finals, where I basically go through a gauntlet of stuff. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galler. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one minds. And he's really eating very quickly that I won't be able to catch up on. The time has come for the battle to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say, let the final matches begin. Oh, now you decide to slow it down. Wait, you? Oh. Mm. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I'm Beady, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Beatty, he's a challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with Challenger Viger here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I retire from being a trainer. What an unexpected turn of events! Former challenger Beatty has come for one last battle! We are currently debating what to do with Challenger Beatties. To all of our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Olinia who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every day. And here I am, pouring my heart out to you. When I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a de we've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted B's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every trainer, trainer a chance to grow stronger, or is it a trial for Challenger Viger? My will hasn't been broken yet. Fair enough. Challenged by gym leader BD. Yep. He's the new fairy type gym leader. And Unicorn will show you just what real fairy power looks like. But nevertheless. We face too much to be quit now. We've got no choice but to win. And he's not standing like a pompous idiot as well, so I can applaud him for that. Nevertheless, his Pokemon are very much outclassed, like always. He still doesn't have a full team as well. On oh, Rune's closing in on it. Oh, his own Rabidash. Well, then this will be a perfect opportunity to show him just how long raising a Rabidash was for him.
Oh, not a full team. Only four Pokemon to his name. That is just sad. But I know what his his final Pokemon will be. And it's gonna be a Gigantamax. Gardevoir. Actually, we're gonna send Tear Pits out on this one. There's a nice, well-placed Shadow Ball right to Gardevoir's face. Should do the trick. Yup. Nicely done, Tear Pits. Penzoigan and Warspite have gone up. Love it. Hatterene. Yep, that's it. So we're gonna switch. For the good old Prenz Eugen. What's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? One with fiery passion and one that's disclosed their emotions. Perfect, but you will burn nonetheless. Like all before you. We'll show you the truly great pink. It's time for my dear Hatterini to Gigantamax. Yep, Gigantamax Hatterene. But nevertheless, one Pyroball Enhanced Max Flare to the face, and all is said and done. Tierpitz is closing in on it, too. That's that. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. He doesn't look like an old man anymore. Finally. Well, I lost. It looks like it looks like Challenger BD has no ma was no match for Challenger Viger and his trusted team. Hey BD, that was so bitch. Don't retire, just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to just to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. You just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose my talent with my talents I'll be able to overtake Miss Opal in no time. The stadium is filled with the voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger Viger, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up for that unex from that unexpected match. Cool. Rather surprising for Challenger BD to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head on to the pitch. The finals are about to begin. Now let me just check, are all my Pokemon fully healed? Right down to the action points. Yep. We're good, we're good, we're good. I'm a heading right back out there. Let's do this. Not even gonna say it, not even gonna bother with it. Number 13, heading back out of the field! The time for waiting is over! The finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin! The two trainers to face each other for the first battle of the first round are... A trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger Viger! And his opponent, the Raging Wave, the Master of Water Types, Nessa! 
I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Holbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. Not as good as mine, but... But you're not the champion, and you'll never become the champion, either. That job is reserved for me. My dad says so. Do you know why? It's because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I became a water type gym leader because that freaking Charizard is constantly a pain in my ass. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. Because I have Gamera on my side. And feminism. If you beat me, you're sexist. That is now legit cannon. Glycopod. One of my favorite Alolan Pokemon. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. If you don't remember the last time I voiced Nessa, this is her bratty teenager voice, which I felt was both funny and fitting. So, there's that. <laughs> I love how emergency exited just so Seeking can get O-Code so that he can come out and get creamed by whatever Pokemon I'm sending out next. It's about to send out Glyzopod again. So switch. We're actually going to send in Hiei because of Steam Engine. This is going to be funny. If any Pokemon actually survives, it will be interesting. Plus, this will also test out if I can remember if Rock is neutral to water. Let's see. Oh, you're going to pop that emergency exit once again. No, it's neutral. That's perfect. That's perfect. And Glycopod's dead. Despite the full restore, bringing him back from the brink, Mercy X ain't gonna be popped off again. So a steam engine engaged, we're just gonna steamroll all the way through. And Barascuda. The skewer Pokemon. That's a torpedo. If I had caught a Barascuda earlier, I would Probably named it after a destroyer, but this will work out just fine. Ooh. That actually did a number on me. And you avoided. I need you to hit me with a water type real quick. It's very, very tempting. No, you need to stop doing that. Don't make me switch into War Spite. There you go. What sank the Bismarck, Ol Olanzo? Uh, the entire might of the Royal Navy, basically HMS King George V, Rodney, as the two battleships, three heavy cruisers, HMS Sheffield, Norfolk, and Dorsetshire. After repeated fire after a crippling hit to one of its rudders by a swordfish torpedo bomber by HMS Arc Royal, which is an aircraft carrier, until she finally dipped low enough that Dorsetshire basically point blanked a torpedo straight into her side. The more you know. Either way, my giant rock monster is going to keep eating its leftovers and heal up. I don't know what Pokemon she's going to use. Oh, Pelipper! That's even worse! Please hit me with a water type attack, please! You still won't hit me with a freaking water type attack! And I'll just keep throwing rocks at you until you freaking do! Dreadnought, this is it. 
Looks like I'm down to my last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last. Remember this bad boy? He was a real bitch to you. But guess what? This is the same Dreadnought, and somehow it's gonna be able to Gigantamax. Because that's totally a legit thing that I can do. Flood the stadium and make it our ocean. Dreadnought, time to Gigantamax. Technically, this is breaking the rules because this isn't the same Dreadnought. Remember what I said about Gamera? Here he is. That's cool. EA. Show them what real power looks like. Send it down to Iron Bottom Sound. This is a little gift from us. I hope you can take it. Stone Surge. It's just water type. Perfect! Steam engine comes into play. Bang! Now there's no more drizzle, there is only sand. We're gonna do a quick heal up real quick. As I know, he's not going to be able to take an- She's not going to be able to take another freaking Stone Surge. Or Storm Surge. It's just going to do that. No, it's Stone Surge. Yeah, she'll be able to take one more if needed. Oh, and that was even a crit, so yeah, she'll most certainly be able to take the next one. So, Max Rockfall, let's end this, yay. This is for being such a pain the, last, the first time I fought you. Back to the ranks, Nessa. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. I'm gonna tell my dad. He's gonna murder you. And, and the winner is Vigor! He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge and now has pulled it off again! Don't remind me. You and your Pokemon are just too much. Even with my Dynamax partner, you're weathered, you weathered our waves and stood firm. Now that I think about it, Sonya was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I had paid more attention to what she was talking about. Like how my, I wish my dad would pay more attention to me. I bet everyone in Galar has got their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you've got to ride that current all the way to the end, or so help me, I will strangle you. Now, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. These are the results of the first round. Hope you got a good look at them because I'm not going to repeat them. Is the team fully healed? Yes, Unicorn's leading the charge once more. So I'm not facing every gym leader. Just a few of them. My Pokemon are that high level because of Max Ray Battle Candies. They don't directly affect levels outside of the wild area. Ladies and gentlemen, we're already at the second match of the finals of the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed quite the surprising turn in the finals here at this year's Champion Cup. As the former gym challenger BD stormed the stage, but Viger ha was having none of it. 
This year's top challenger made quick work of him before washing away gym leader Nessa. And now to take him on, here comes gym leader Alistair, the boy known far and wide as the silent school-aged star. Hey, Alistair. You look well. I remember you. You're the strongest dude charger I had. And it's so rocking. We should battle. That's him because of the mask. Now, is he gonna Gigantamax freaking Gengar again? Or is he gonna break out something else? Dusk Noir! <coughs> Everyone's looking kind of hard, but fight. Ooh, and the pressure's on, boys. Psycho cut. And done. Oh, I love it when Unicorn lands or, lands or crits. Chandelure. Switch. We'll go with Turpitz. Turpitz is going to be the one to clean sweep everything because of her own ghost typing. I'm going to show you the true power of ghosts. We're going to wish you had the Lone Queen of the North on your side. Shadow Ball. Pulse, you guys. Keep on going. To your pits. Shadow Ball. Oh, it's gonna protect. That's adorable. You know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna allow you to get a good hit on me first. I'm a sad of hail. It sucks to suck. You had your chance to get some hits into me, but this is your own fault now. Take Shadow Ball. And goodbye! Better send out Cursula. The evolved form of a Galarian Cursula. crit so easily now with all the curry going into their stomachs. Yep, Gengar was the last one. Tear pits. I hear that speaker. How lonely. How frightening. Let's do this. Tear pits. Lone Queen of the North. Take the stage. Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Here, take some furniture. Not sorry, not sorry.
And this is what happens when I get in stream regularly. I get my Pokemon way too powered up and they keep blowing through the competition. Anything like this can't you succeed just how strong you really are. Challenger Fighter has done it again! What a performance! He sails right through! Crumbs. You was oof. He did it with this guy there. Ain't none of that strong trainers. Our seemingly unstoppable trainer is headed for the final round, but who will he meet there? Will it be I pass on Dynamaxing Piers or the Dragon Lord himself, Raihan? The next match will decide it, so don't go far from your screens! And yeah, I figured it was gonna be Raihan. Whoa, Contender Raihan gloriously defeated Contender Piers! Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. Sorry, Viger. I thought my bro would get revenge for me, but he lost to Raihan. He looked so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Raihan's just that strong. <coughs> I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax could be. Alright, I get it. But that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you to win, Viger. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chin wag just before the final match. Raihan's waiting for you at the pitch. We're looking forward to a real, right good battle. It's easier to make that voice when you're getting over a cold. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so here we go, Raihan, you dragon master, you. Here it is, the last match of the finals. Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Will it be the brilliant rising star, Challenger Viger, or will it be the only trainer that Champion Leon calls his rival, the Tamer of Dragons, Raihan? You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to, fir so I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat you. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Raihan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Oh, Raihan. And you've lost me. With the amount of tra with the amount of max battle raids I've had to play against with AI, seeing a Torkoal is never a good sign of competency. I mean, anybody using a Torkoal at this point. That's drought. It gets the sunlight burning real harsh. Am I really gonna have to break tear pits out for this, or am I just gonna have to keep killing you one by one? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's darn interesting. You might actually put her to sleep. But it's not like I need her to clear you out. Terminator. We will send in Rune. Now, who in this line would be faster, Rune or a Turtonator? That'll be a good question. But nevertheless... Yep, Shell Trap is engaged. Too bad Rune's not going in anywhere close to him. Boom. Done. Nicely done, Rune! Gudra. Tear pits. 
if you think this is the same Tirpitz you faced last time, she's got a new move of her own as well. It's called freaking Ice Beam. Done and done. Flygon. Perfect. Not only did you send in a dragon that was a weak, you sent in a ground dragon that's double weak. You are really not ready for this battle, were you? You were hoping that I was a way weaker and actually quite dumber than the last time I fought you. Sucks to suck if I say so myself. And then he's going to Gigantamax his Duraludon. I'll Dynamax Rune to respond to it. That is how this will respond. I'll send out the mural. You do realize I'm the great Raihan, right? I'll be the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you. Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. <coughs> Gets his quick selfie. And Gigantamax Duraludon is back. That's adorable. I'm a Dynamax Rune in response to that and freaking Okoe. get max steel spike off first. Well again, I shouldn't be surprised. Everything is faster than Rune. This Rune's a freaking stone slab. But you are so much weaker. Probably holding on by sturdy. Or literally was able to absorb that last attack. Then we'll mix it up a little bit, shall we? Let's do it! The dragon roars! Time for my ultimate attack! G-Max Depletion! I mean, that was a beautiful attack, but it did next to nothing. Max Phantasm! Finish it. And it was a crit, too. Lovely. Nicely done, Rune. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger Biker sees us victory! My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us, beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you've got a whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 13, Challenger Viger has achieved a dazzling triumph! The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him! This is the result of the final round! Ah, oh boy. Alright. Big moment's finally here, eh? I came just to cheer you on, you know? Still, it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's the showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? For the one that keeps kicking my ass. 
Right. You recognize the cheer for Viger too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Oh, here we go. I somehow have a feeling that this is all going to get interrupted somehow because these games are very easy to read. Alrighty then, number 13 enters the field. Let's see what this pomp and circumstance is, Leon. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is a, also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but absolutely loving pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. It's the greatest feeling in the world and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Regents champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of my t our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Oh, I'm sorry to say this, Leon, but you clearly are into it. Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What is that on the big screen? I knew it. Hello there, Leon and Viger. Just letting you know. I think it's time I brought about the darkest day, for the sake of Gala's future, of course. Told you I was evil. But I'm not in a bit of- I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain! Whoa, hello. I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refuse to listen! Every power spot's going haywire. Lee! Viger! That video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to go see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. This is the real champion time. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother, Viger. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. Chairman was talking about the darkest day. Is that the thing where the sky went all dark once? Ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean he's bringing that about? And where did we even hear that name? Back in Motostoke. That statue of the hero of Motostoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the darkest day with the sword and shield Pokemon. Sonya thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Viger. But where to start looking? Uh, back in the slumbering weld. That's it, Viger. I'm sure it's gotta be the slumbering weld. That illusion you tried to fight off that day? It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to the slumbering weld. If we're lucky, we'll find something that can help. Well, I'm gonna need to do a quick change. <laughs> And we're back! Huh? Viger and Hop? Ah, uh, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. 
The chairman saw to that and to sending the entire region in a save havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the slumbering well? Well, for starters, there's a great black storm and s or something raging over Hammerlock Stadium. What are they calling it? The darkest day? It's thrown everything into disarray. Still, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold the tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name of the black storm that nearly brought the Galar region to ruin in ancient times. So, what are you here for, Viger? To search for the shield Pokemon. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon should be able to prevent this darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to beat back the Black Storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head into the Slumbering Well. I'll catch up to you once I'm done looking into something that's been bothering me. All that matters is that you can cut, you can do what you can. You've become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. And so we're back in here. Ready for this, Viger? I wonder if we're about to head straight into a wall of fog again. Not that it bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Go into the forest after Wu going out into the forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where it all freaking began. Excuse us guys, we're in the middle of something important here. And here comes the fog. Or not. Ah, this is where the stronger Pokemon live. Yep. Much stronger Pokemon. Oh, there's an item back that way, excuse me. Oh, there's a stun fisk there. I'll grab this. Just head up this way. There's Hop. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Ooh, it's getting thicker. Oh, hello again. Ah, there's two of you now. Hello, Zashian and Zamazenta. They really are here. The Sword and Shield Pokemon, I knew it! And they're gone. <laughs> hey, where are you going? We need your help over here! You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those Sword and Shield Pokemon, they were right in front of us! And then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. What? Then were those just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the Sword Pokemon, Zacian, and the Shield Pokemon, called Zamazenta. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering well some time long, long ago. Did they really? <laughs> Sonya, thanks for digging into that. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and the shield w that those two used to carry are still here too. And off he goes, and off I go. Hmm. Where's the Master Sword? <laughs> J 
you look at that, Viger? That's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of a legend. And there they are. A sword and a shield. Beaten and battered and left to the sands of time. See that, Viger? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Well, let's see what we're looking at here. Obtained a rusted shield. It is said that a hero used this shield to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it's grown rusty and worn. That settles it. I'm taking the sword. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. But I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day. But, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Maybe the Pokemon themselves really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all we ha the help we've got. Yep. Er, hold on. I'ma just read this real quick or check behind it. Nope, nothing, nothing. Time to head back and I'll go the opposite way then. Nope, can't go that way. Ah, can go this way. Grab something there. Ah, it's the um, Phantom Force. Sweet. Up. Uh, Muna, you're useless. I've already dealt with you. Uh, bye bye. Get this way. Excuse the carbonite. Keep running. Keep running. Keep moving. Joysticks are fighting against me, though. Nope, this way. Nope. And all the weak Pokemon. What my Pokemon used to be. But they are no longer. And we're out. We're heading back to Hammerlock now. Hey, what's going on, Raihan? Well, if it isn't Viger and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, and something like this has to happen. And Chairman Rose thinking that the energy pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the Darkest Day or the Chairman or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. I'm not stopping you either. And he's gone. That hob never changes. Always in a rush about something, isn't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders work together with the city's Pokemon. We've got everything, everyone evacuated. And you. 
You're fixing to help our champion to save everyone in the Galar region? Of course I am. Our greatest ever champion and our greatest ever challenger, along with his fiercest rival, all teaming up against the Darkest Day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then, our great challenger, into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Yup. I have no clue what's going on here. Oh, oh great. You again. J Jim Challenger, you must help me. I, I mean, please, help me. My Pokemon suddenly Dynamaxed for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Raihan, I mean, Mr. Raihan, was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground powers plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Galar region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen... Please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there to reach him. I've enlisted the help of the champion's younger brother too, but who knows what's going on. Eternatus. That name rings a bell from my, Dynamax, from my Max Raid battling. Oh boy. Chairman Rose, what have you been doing? And what do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Stopping the darkest day. Oh, uh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus! Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose, it must seem that I'm doing something terrible. And of course I am! I'm evil, after all! I don't expect you to understand, but I must provide the Galar region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity and evilness for my sake. In my purpose, my duty, my destiny, my villainy! That's why we've been giving the Wishing Stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused the ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand, I d can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. And here we go. You are challenged by Macrocosmos Rose. Escavalier. Well, that's adorable. You still don't have a full team. I guess that's reserved for Leon, then. I ain't Dynamaxing just yet. That's safe for your last Pokemon. You're pretty tough. Yes, entirely too tough. Don't think that it's unfair. Ow. That actually freaking hurt. Go for the crit. Or unless shell armor is going to protect from that. You got this, unicorn. You're good. You're good. Unless he freaking uses a full restore. Nope. There we go. Berserker. I know that one. So we're gonna go with EA. And we'll do a nice, beautiful heat crash. Bada bing bada boop. 
Ferrothorn. PA can handle that. Even with the iron barbs. He crash again. For the double effectiveness. Or I didn't actually see what he was sending out. So we're going to send out War Spy in response. He's going to be able to deal with that. Clean Clang. For a second, I thought he said Kingler. So we're just going to Drill Pack. Wild charge. Thank you for the health. Now my best guess is if he wild charges me again after another drill pack, then that'll be the death of this. Or if War Spy just lands a crit, because he loves me so much. Unicorn levels up. He is almost getting there too. Or spike heals. Copper Raj. Right, that po that other Pokemon. So we're gonna send Rune out to do with the pure steel type that's gonna Gigantamax. So that's exactly what Copper Raj has at its disposal. Oh ho! Down to my last Pokemon. Hmm, this isn't looking good! Gonna lose two front legs and then get a giant drill excavator nose. But I'ma earthquake it with the power of Dynamaxed Rune. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard you'll be speechless! There it is. And runes faster. That's saying a freaking lot. I still didn't level up. Oh well. Yay! I'd forgotten how great Pokemon battles are! It's been so long since I've battled! That sure was satisfying! I'm still evil! Most impressive, Viger. I wouldn't expect any less from the challenger endorsed by the strongest champion ever to grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two, and I'm terribly sorry that to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus, but we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love making speeches and being evil. But I can't stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go on now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? 
You don't get it, do you, Chairman? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We've learned how to be strong, thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Suck it. Unless you have something else to say, something important-wise. Of course I won't stop you. Head to the via the lift, if you wish. Cool. Come on. Freaking joystick. All right, Viger, I'm ready for anything. Are you? Yes. Let's go help Lee. Oh, hello. There's Eternatus. That is one weird looking motherfucker. You came to help me in spite of the danger? Thanks, Hop. And you, Viger. You two really have grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but we've had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my champion team members have already worn Eternatus down. Now, if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything will be back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. I doubt it will. Did he really just use a regular freaking Pokeball? Are you a freaking idiot? Yeah. Did you honestly think that a regular freaking Pokeball was going to hamper a legendary Pokemon. Freaking mother of God, you call yourself a freaking champion. I'll take care of this. Now, what are we dealing with? All right, Unicorn's so beaten to hell. I didn't heal her up. Well then, let us fix that real quick. Dragon Pulse. That's adorable. So we're going to hit it with the Dazzling Gleam. Neutral damage. Now that's interesting. Okay. Now, this is how I've been catching Pokemon as well in this time. I am going to send Rune out. Oh, he knows poison moves. Well, then I will take the pressure off of you. And Rune acting like a giant wall. Will Willow Wisp Eternatus? I can hear the music in the headphones shifting from left to right. It's kind of trippy. So now. Perhaps it's weakened. I can't throw a Pokeball. Any reason why I can't? Okay. If I can't catch it now, then it means I'll just have to catch it freaking later. There we go. <laughs> I need you to stay down, Eternatus. Or you're gonna do a thing.
Oh boy! He done did Gigantamax in all of his own. Eternatus. Wow, it's huge. Let's take it on together, Viger. Unicorn can't Dynamax either. So she's just gonna have to freaking cycle cut this thing. But man, that thing is huge. What? I can't use any moves. Unicorn is waiting instructions. Ah, uh, try it again. Unicorn can't use a mysterious power. I forgot. We found that sword and shield in the slumbering well. Yeah? What about it? That's definitely not gonna help Unicorn or Wooloo do anything. Fire, use that shield. It might be old and rusty, but there's gotta be some use for to it. I got it. Awakened entirely. Come to us, good boys. Oh, boy. There they are! Zacian and Zamazenta. Ah, just let him have the stuff. Now they look more like what they should be looking like. Yay, Unicorn's still there. Zacian's Intrepid Sword. His attack rose. Zamazento's Dauntless Shield. His defense rose. Terminus's pressure still engaged. Both of them are going to be doing their own thing. They're acting autonomously as a fourth, as a third and fourth party member. Hey, looks like we can use our moves now. Thanks to Zacian and Zamazenta, that is. Use towel. Oh, well, thank you. And Zamazenta used light screen. Perfect. Max Worm Mind. Oh, poor Wooloo. Can't ever get out of the battle without getting punched in the face, essentially. Let's go for the other Psycho Cut. That seems to be working. Behemoth Blade. Move that does extra damage against Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon. And I think Behemoth Bash does the exact same thing. Max Flare against Zamazenta, which did hurt a bit. And Wooloo's gonna knock itself out come hell or high water. You 
got this unicorn. Let Zacian finish it off. With one final strike. This is our ch this is it. Hurry, Viger, try to catch Eternatus now. Yup. I'm on it. One Ultra Ball. Dynamax to its fullest. Eternatus? You're mine! Maybe? Yep. <laughs> Almost had me there. But we're good. We done did good, dogs. Thanks, good boys. Three days later. So, Chairman Rose turned himself in then. Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what you sow, I say. Thanks for that exposition. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. We really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazenta and Zacian. Still, he's... well, he's being Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on, the match will be at Wyndham Stadium. Where, where else? So is Eternatus in there? Or? Yep. There he is. Poison Dragon, just like Drag Algae. With the ability Pressure, Cross Poison, Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower, and Dynamax Cannon. The user unleashes a strong beam from its core. This move deals twice the damage if the target is Dynamax. So it's a max rate Pokemon. Something you bring to your max rate battles, just like Zamazenta and Zacian. Whom I'm gonna have to go and catch. Yes, yes, I understand. I mean, I am that awesome. Gosh damn. Freaking joysticks conking out. I need to get a new set of Joy Cons. This is just getting ridiculous. Okay, now how the frick do I get to wind in the stadium? Oh yeah, it was just this way. I was thinking the tower. Yes, yes, everyone. I understand. You're all here to see me win this whole shebang. Let's do this, shall we? It's the final match against the champion. The championship match. Are you ready to face Leon? Uh, hold on a minute. Save real quick. Now we'll go. 
change your uniform and head out onto the pitch. Here we go. Let's try this again. With a little less exploding. My matches are always sold out, but this? I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Viger. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. So now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Viger. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. If you say so, pal. Get himself psyched. You're challenged by champion Leon. Oh, he getting serious now, boys. You're, it's one of the duties of the champion to get the crowd fired up. And I like how his pennant is one. And I think putting Unicorn out in front is probably going to be a bad idea. So we're going to put Rune out in charge. A nice healthy Earthquake will do the trick and also being a freaking wall. Yep, here it comes. Flash Cannon. Not what I thought Aegis Slash would open up with, but... Not Dynamaxing just yet. We're just gonna hit him hard with an Earthquake. Thankfully, he was not in shield form to absorb basically all of that. Super effective hit. I'd expect nothing less from your team. He just slashes down. Yay's leveled up. She's getting ready. She's getting oh so ready for her destined fight. Dragapult, the Bomber Dragon, and this is where Unicorn will come, will it come in. Yep, Dragapult, of whom I have not seen any of your pre-evolutions yet to capture, but that'll be something I will do post-game. For the time being, Dazzling Gleam. Bam, boosh, bonk! Haxorus. Well, why would I even need to change Unicorn out? Mold Breaker. Dazzling Gleam! Done and done. Mr. Rhyme. Perfect switch in the Prince Eugen. The evolution of Galarian Mr. Mine. I'll hit it in the face with an ice ball of pyro. Boop. 
Inteleon, I had a feeling you would be there. So we're actually going to send in Hiei now. Because hopefully she can get hit by a water type move and get really fast. Behold the fully evolved form of that Sobble that nobody picked. So we're gonna Rock Blast. Yes, yeah, Snipe Shot. Oh, but he ain't moved and avoided it. Oh, that sucks to suck. Oh, and a nice crit. Thank you, he a Critical hit. Ha, <laughs> pretty good, Challenger. And one more for the road. Thank you, he a Now comes the fun part, what he has been training for this whole frickin' time. I'm not finished having a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. This Charizard. This is it. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time! been waiting for this whole freaking time. IJN Battleship Hie. All guns to port side. Ready, aim, and fire. Oh, you also know a rock type move. That's adorable. Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory. Oh, I know. That's why I'm gonna one up you with a bigger slab that's even stronger and more effective against you. And oh, Ko the Charizard. Bam! Well done, EA. Well done. Ooh. <laughs> Tosses the hat. My time as champion is over. But what a champion time it's been. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. Bada bing, bada boop. So are we continuing? Or? Okay. There we go. Congratulations, Viger. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right? I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Viger. What you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon, and keep on blasting ahead, in order to create that bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes, your champion, Viger. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, boys and girls.
So let's play Name the Pokemon. Zacian, Zamazenta. A lot more than I thought was going to happen. Toxitricity, Obstagoon, and Rillaboom. I guess that is all the Pokemon that are going to be showing up. Well, that's a darn shame. Oh, something different now. Probably gonna be an entire post game as well that I'm gonna have to delve into as well. Don't know, but we'll just have to wait and see. Oh yeah, there's Toby Fox sound design and whatnot. I know we made some songs here. These credits are gonna be. But I ain't gonna skip them because it deserves it. 23 people here. Interesting. producers and the copyrights which always means we're at the end here look at all them symbols that mean something in the game thank you everyone oh hi <laughs> and one more for the road <laughs> The end for now. Because there's always a post game. So let's see where that picks off. Because we still need a freaking catch, Zamazenta. Yeah, I was about to say. Freaking, I know where I need to go. Oh, hi, Mom. Oh, her. <laughs> Good. Congratulations, champ champion. Here, I've got a little something for you as a celebration. 
I stole this from a super secret laboratory that's one of a kind. They're very pissed off that it's missing now. They'll probably come to find you and kill you, but that's not my problem anymore. Good thing I was wearing gloves when I handed it to you. Professor Magnolia, why didn't you come? Why? Why? You didn't have to come all this way. After everything Fire has achieved, it's really the least I can do. Really, it is the least I can do. I'm like 90 years old. I can barely do anything right now. The wishing stars that made Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. Wasn't any of my problems, so I didn't give a crap. But Vider and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come, mostly to beat the ever-living crap out of each other. So, young Vider, please do what you believe is best. By beating the crap out of everyone. <laughs> My legs. Poor Professor Magnolia. She's so freaking old. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she's helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Cool! I'm gonna go catch the mystical dog Pokemon now. Okay, thanks, bye! I have a new ball that I can catch stuff with. Oh, boy. Scares me, Blip Pod. You clearly don't know what you're up against. I will only use the freaking Master Ball on the Legendary if I need to. If it's being tiresome and annoying. But Zamazenta is a fighting steel type, if I remember correctly. From the stats and trailers that I've been able to obtain without spoiling the story for myself. But I feel as though my team is going to be way too overpowered to whittle him down easily. Oh wait, just before we do anything more... Now then, who do I want to bring into this, just in the off chance that I need something strong to sort of whittle it down? Let's bring Clean Clang just to, like, test the- oh, hold on. What moves do you know? Shift gear lock. If I can get a paralysis on it. Hmm, I could do that easier with a sep with a separate Pokemon altogether. Knocked out. You're that freaking strong? Where the frick did I catch you from? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Clink Clang. Let's just do a little bit of reorganizing so that I can easily get back to my Pokemon when I need to. Yeah, we'll put we'll put Turpets back in. We'll lead with Clink Clang. I can get a if I can get a Zap Cannon off on that thing. That would be really good. Oh, for a second there, I thought that Muna was shiny, but it's just a lighting. Oh, brother. 
I have so many of you that can Gigantamax, it's not even funny. save here just on the off chance that we have to come back to get him and I have plenty of ultra balls and timer balls so that'll work for this oh there's hop yo huh tiger what are you doing here in the woods what about you Nobody ever comes in here since this is the forest where Zacian and Zamazenta rested. It's the best place to do a bit of thinking since it's so quiet and all. You say you, say you felt like something was calling you here, Viger. That's... Mate, that's pretty uncanny. But I bet I hadn't... But, oh, but I hadn't had a, the chance to tell you. Congrats on your victory, Viger. Honestly, I never thought you'd manage to beat my brother. Greatest champion Galar ever had. He was undefeatable till you came around. It's actually still pretty hard to believe. Really, you're amazing, Viger. So amazing, maybe, that I don't even realize just how amazing you really are. Viger, do you think... Would you be up for one more battle? Sure. Thanks, Viger. Then show me the strength that defeated Lee, the greatest champion we ever had. I'm ready when you are, so just say the word. Well, if that's the case, let me do one quick switch had I known you were actually going to be doing this. And then we'll put Unicorn on the lead. Save one more time. Of course. I'm always down to show you what for. Let's have our farm animals duke it out again as usual. As per the huge! Ben Urchin, I know who needs to come out for that. Snorlax. Let's go with EA. big boys and I just realized he finally has a full team on his side three times he's finally learned but what's his last Pokemon or the new sixth that he has on his side. Cramorant, that's who it is. Now let's let our birds fight it out now. Hope you can scoop up another Pikachu this time around. No, we're gonna brave part it. 
for good freaking measure. Our run's closing in on it. Rillaboom, we know what time it is! It's time for Prince Eugen to do his thing! Ready for it? Don't blink! Oh, he missed it! Oh, shoot! You're getting better! You actually lasted one turn more! But... Still can't survive that. Send Terra Pits out for this one. I don't know who it was, but they keep clicking too quickly. Terra Pits will be fine. Yep. She'll be fine. The well placed ice beam straight to the face. Ooh, so close. I'm just do a quick shadow ball. And Donzo. As per the huge. Tirpitz went up to 95. As hard as hop. I didn't expect there to be such a gap between you and me, mate. Mm-hmm. You need to sit in the wild area for a good, like, week or two, and you'll be as strong as me. So, there really is no way I could ever beat you. I mean, you even beat my unbeatable brother. And if it isn't the two of you again, I was wondering what all the noise was about. And if it isn't Sonya. Viger, congratulations on beating Leon. Thank you. Taking it all in stride like it's your due, eh? You cheeky thing. What are you doing here? Soon you've been ass be off assisting the professor? Hop, I'm actually not working as my grand's assistant any longer. In fact, I'm the professor now. Y you are? And really, I've got the two of you to thank for that. I was just along for the ride on your adventure, but I ended up taking a real interest in the history of the Galar region. And I came to care for Pokemon even more than I ever had before. And here, it's a book I wrote. I even signed it. That makes it a collector's item. Oh, it's a key item. Professor Sonya's published writings. Her new discoveries about the Galar region's legends are recorded in this enjoyable read. I've already got my own copy. Lined up to buy it on the day it came out. Aw, thanks, Hop. That's so sweet. I'll sign your copy for you later. Anyway, I've got a, my grand's blessing and put out my first book under my own name. I think you can expect great things of the lovely Princess Sonya in the future, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I expect so. Sonya, Viger, you both amaze me. I've got a lot to live up to here. So, what are you youngins doing here? Uh, oh, right. Oh, that's it, isn't it? You were putting the rusted sword and rusted shield back in their place. Can't just keep holding on to them forever, right? We were... Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were just about to do that. You forgot entirely, didn't you? What, you think the two of you are besties now with Zacian and Zamazenta or something? That must be it, Viger. Why, you felt like you were called here? Let's put the sword and shield back and say a proper thanks for all the help. Maybe if we do, we'll get to see Zacian and Zamazenta again someday. And this is the part where I make the switch. Uh, 
and return the rusted shield. Seishin, Zamasenta, thanks loads for helping us out. Took us a little while, but we've brought back your precious relics and all. You and Hop return the rusted sword and sh rusted shield. All right, now that settles that. Viger, why don't you and I head back? Where are you going? What are you going to do, Sonya? I think I'll stay here a bit longer. I want to do a little more research here in the forest. Hmm? My power spot detector is going off. Well, well, well. I thought I heard someone making some noise over this way. Oh, Lord, that hair. Well, 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 you wouldn't be the Professor Sonia who wrote the book, Galler, a uh, history. Uh, uh, hello? You bought my book? Why, yes, of course. Re read it from cover to cover. Why, yes, of course. I even wrote an internet review for it. That awful book was full of, was filled with lies. So we gave it one star. What? There are no lies printed in that book. That's just plain rude. I am Sor Sorward. I am Shilbert. We are the new kings of Galar. We're descendants of the first kings. More than that, we're celebrities. New kings? Descendants? Seriously, what are you on about? What exactly are you two supposed to be? Well, 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 could these things here be the fabled sword and shield? Well, 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 they certainly are dirty. They must be fake, I fear, to touch them with my bare hands. Oh, so they just take them? Hey! Don't go nicking those! They just... We just returned them! Oh, do shut up. We only happened to pick up some things that were dropped on the ground. If you've got a problem with it, how about you prove to whom they belong, hmm? Uh, but there's no way anyone can prove who those ancient things belong to. Even if we can't prove it, they're really important to Zacian and Zamazenta. Oh goodness, such a plebeian, and yet so pushy. If it's really so important to you, perhaps we should settle this with a battle. We're celebrities who buy battles for twice that what they're worth. What does that even mean? I, the Magnificent Shieldbird, am your opponent. Who the frick are you, people? I was not prepared for this. Tirpitz is not going to be getting any sort of experience from this. But I will at least get Unicorn out to... Take care of the weird hair crew over here. It's like clearly you have no idea who the frick you're dealing with. Song. Oh, that's adorable! Prince Eugen, if you wouldn't mind! Now that Unicorn has gotten the money boost from this guy, I'm gonna have some fun and just have Prince Eugen just sweep the floor with you guys with his fancy footwork. Phalanx, it's adorable. Just do a blaze kick on this guy. I could have bounced and taken care of it like that, but this is f much fun. Err. And War Splits up to 94. Brenn's up to 96. Oh, you have your own Clink Clang, that's adorable. <laughs> no more warm ups, it's time to beat you hollow. A 
good thing I still have a few pyro balls left. Oh! So you wanted to do that to me, huh? Then I'll just bounce it right back with my last charge on that. Yep. Mm-hmm. How how can this be? My my Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I'll take that back. <laughs> to somehow have defeated the adorable Pokemon I go strolling with? You're certainly strong. However, it appears that my older brother was victorious. Sorry, Viger. I lost to him. <laughs> Something on your mind, boy. You weren't concentrating at all during our battle. Mm. Younger brother, isn't that the one who stopped Eternatus? Oh, ho, now that I look closely, I believe it is. What a rude child snatching up our chance at glory like that. According to our sources, I believe he was also present during the destruction of the magnificent mural our ancestor so artfully created many years ago. What a garish brute, destroying the mural our family had held in such high esteem for so long. Mural? You mean the one that hid the historical ruins of Zamazenta and the others? And hold on a minute. Viger wasn't the one who destroyed it. Let us withdraw for now. Next time, we shall bring Pokemon that will utterly defeat you. Yes, let's do that. And with that, farewell. W wait, stop! Hold on, Hop. Ah, that kid. He's gone and recklessly run off. At least you're gone, Viger. I expected as much. I'm surprised that Hop lost to someone like that. He looked upset about something during the battle. Maybe that had something to do with it. His own rival became the new champion, and his goal vanished before his eyes. You can't help but wonder how he feels about it all. Anyway, Sorward and Shieldbart, was it? I think I might know something about who they about where those two weirdos went. Shall we go over it at the lab in Wedgehurst? Of course. I bet I didn't ne even need to ask. Thanks. Okay, we'll meet up later. Then I'll head back to the lab. And I guess this begins the post game. So we ain't facing, facing Zamazenta just yet. So we'll put the team back together. Or wait, no. With Unicorn in the lead for the money. Actually, I don't think the money is necessary anymore. I have more than enough than what I know what to do with. So let's give her a more suitable item hmm King's Rock that'll work increase flinching okay and we're also gonna do one more thing Red Zygon's up to 100. PA is up to 100. Rune's up to 100. Turpitz is up to 100. Unicorn's up to 100. And War Spite's up to 100. Done and done. There's something else I wanted to check. 
Yeah, he looks swaggerific. So. Let's go to the lab, or actually, first off. Something I wanted to check. Nope. Mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. It's a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. You read the letter attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this, Viger, then I'm leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. So, Charmander's state has been added to the Pokedex. Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. From the time it is born, a flame burns at the tip of its tail. This life would end if the flame were to go out. I'm not going to give him a nickname just yet. But let's examine this Charmander a little bit more. He's level 9. And can Gigantamax. That's all I needed to know. So then. Let's have a little fun with this guy, shall we? We'll focus in on the extra smalls that I have. Do this slowly. Learn smoke screen from that. Cool. Level 17! Let's learn Dragon Breath. Yeah, let's do that. Give her the scratch. Let's learn Fire Fang. Yes. Give her to Ember for that. For now. And there we go. Charmander's already evolving. So, Charmeleon, the flame Pokemon. If it becomes agitated during battle, it spouts intense flames, incinerating its surroundings. Let's learn Slash, yes. His special attack is much higher than his physical attack. I think I know how I'm gonna need to build this Charizard. Let's learn Flamethrower. Of course learn Flamethrower. That's your bread and butter right there. Two more. She's up to 26. Or 33. I can't count for some reason. One more for the road. And she's done, basically. There we are. Charizard, the flame Pokemon. Its wings can carry this Pokemon close to an altitude of 4,600 feet. It blows out fire at, ev at very high temperatures. Wants to learn Air Slash. Yeah, let's give you something along those lines. We don't need smoke. Or no, we don't need Slash. And now watch this, guys.
Already up to 60. That special attack is going through the roof. Let's learn Scary Face. It'll be better than Smoke Screen. Wants to learn Fire Spin. It'll be better than Dragon Breath. Wants to learn Inferno. It's better than Fire Spin. And now, since we've used all them, to the extra, to the large, and only 85 are needed, so. And we're good! Charizard's now at level 100. Wants to learn Flare Blitz. It's better than Inferno. Or at least more reliable than Inferno. And that's all he can learn at that point. So there's just, there is something else that I need to take care of now that I have that bad boy. Head down to the Pokemon Center and get him or get her renamed because I forgot I know exactly the name that I want to give her. Oh, and I didn't want that. But let's do it to Prince Oigan, I guess. Prince Oigan encountered an Eternatus when it was with Viagra. The Pokemon clearly remembers that it felt proud. Just run to here. Nope. I don't need to hear memories about that. Write a nickname. Charizard. It's a fine nickname, but I can do better. Yes, I can do better. Named after an aircraft carrier that was responsible in the raid on Tear Pits, one of many that tried to sink her, but eventually this carrier's own planes were able to finally bring Tear Pits down, ending her reign in the north. HMS Victorious. Fitting that a flying fire type would be named after an aircraft carrier. So she was saying head to the. I think that's. Yeah, head to Wedgehurst Pokemon Research Lab, which is all the way over here. Oh boy. I still got time to head through. Maybe I can get this like B plot taken care of. And maybe finally freaking catch Zamazenta. Excuse me, you old bag. I'm looking for Sonya. Uh... Huh. Do you have anything interesting to say about what we're You don't have to chance to meet many Pokemon and trainers in the wild area. You may even encounter Dynamax Pokemon in such places. Put your faith in your partner and push yourself to new heights together. Now get out of my house. Now! Okay. What is back here? Oh, a thing! Okay, there has. I am probably not even in Wedgehurst. No, I am. The 
Pokemon Research Lab in Wedgehurst. Oh, there's a thing back here that I had been ignoring. One Poke Doll. Am I really just dumb and don't actually remember where this freaking place is? Ah, here we go. Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, Viger! I'm glad you're here. Uh, who's this? She's my assistant. I've been so busy with research lately that I've had to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been help been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing much all that. I'm doing much all that. You're Viger, the champion, right? I'm really glad I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Okay. You remember my power spot detector, right? It detects places where dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. And that's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. Could it be? Exactly. Following the readings from the power spot detector, you might be able to find those sword and shield weirdos. Swordward and Shieldbird might claim to be royalty, but with their weird, fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Well, let's get back on topic, though. I place power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Power spot detectors access! And where am I supposed to be looking? Oh, right here. Turf field. Whoa, oh, oh, that's a way bigger reaction than I thought it would have thought than I thought would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turfield Stadium. You could always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, but that's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be a turn it is, you've already caught it. That maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weirdos. You should go check it out, Bagger, since you're our snazzy new champion and all. I've set up your town map to show you where the strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. Gotcha. Now I gotta get out of here and figure it out. Take me, worst fight! Oh boy, I have to do his voice again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hello there, champion. So you came. Well, what's going on here? <sighs> How carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're bigger than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. <coughs> this just adds to my character. I'm gonna make it less goggly, though. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Piers. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. Ah, oh, there it is. I got everyone who was seated on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? More Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Hop. I'd expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew you. I, we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Viger. 
I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turf Field Stadium. Then I heard that uproar and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. I'm sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all that, all the rush. Hmm. Those suspicious characters you saw are concerning. But for now, I think we should get these Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. I'd be glad for your help against such a tough looking opponent, Champion Viger. Of course. Alright, let's head in, let's head to the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course, but I'm still just a bit miffed they have staged me. You come too, bro, if an old. You t come too, bro, the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon be all lost about this. Though he does you get actually lost a lot. You coming? Uh, okay. Piers might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. All right, we should get going too. All right, we're up. Serena, whatevs. Prenzeugen, you know what to do. Gonna need to get to a Pokemon Center. Freaking Prince Oyun can't even freaking use Pyroball. Just freaking leave this to me. I've got this all under control. <laughs> Phew! Looks like things finally calmed down a bit. This Dynamax stuff, no matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. I can see your dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Piers. But there was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere. And the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Quite right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band in order to Dynamax, but... Seems there's what, there was some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. Did you feel anything unusual, Viger? I did. So you noticed something was off too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mis mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turffield's gym takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Viger, if you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. Oh, I got a rare card. All right then, follow me, little Serena. Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has come down. Well, well, well. The champion is expected. Oh, you're right there. It's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give that, give the rusted sword back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you either. Even if it was were yours, we wouldn't give it back. What's with these two? Get over here so I can battle you. Who are these guys? Spectators and staff shouldn't have should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply just don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. What? Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange taste and hairstyles. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? You think I'd put any faith in words from rude little punks like you? 
But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes, at last we shall reveal the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zacian and Zamazenta? You despicable champion. We're going to keep letting Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell! So you were the ones who caused all this? Stop! Calm down, Hop. You don't get, you don't gotta act so hard. But but they're getting away. Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. <coughs> My menthols. But still. Ah, fine. You're right, I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And that they plan to continue doing it. I won't allow it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back the rusted sword. Viger, Pierce, we need to... We've got to stop those two. Oh, don't tell me he's going to be following us everywhere. I can't do his voice much longer. Ah, there you are, Viger. Things are a right proper mess. Just when I thought the Galar Particle count around Turfield had calmed down, I started getting huge Galar Particle readings from Holborough Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. So what exactly happened at Turfield? Explain exactly what had happened. What? A Dynamax Pokemon went on a rampage? Huh. The Sword and Shield weirdos did it. Oh, Sonya. Hmm? Hop and Piers? Piers, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be back at Spike Month? I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums? Yes, I'm getting the same readings in other towns that as I was from Turf Field Stadium. I'm worried about Marini. Uh, but Spike Month Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holbury Stadium and Motostoke Stadium. Ah, I see. If Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild, there's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Viger? Let's head to one of those stadiums. Heh, <laughs> that's the spirit champion. Leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for, some, for sightings of them. Search into this, uh, Sonya, was it? We should get the to the other stadiums and help out. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to be following me everywhere I go. I am not going to be able to keep that voice up for much longer. But if we're going to be doing a whole bunch of Dynamax and battles what, and whatnot. <laughs> and then I know exactly who should be in the lead. favorite spoiled brat NASA don't get too close you lot things are pretty dangerous here we know the situation are the staff and spectators all right yes they took shelter just a short while ago you know, the more I look at you three, the more I see how odd a little group you are. <laughs> Leave us alone. We came here to help out. And I'm grateful for it. I truly am. That Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if you all joined, me th joined the battle. Let's do it. I need to make my dad proud of me somehow. Alright, what are we dealing with here? Hey, 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 
all freaking Gyarados. Well, attack is all that's going down. Good thing Victorious is just gonna be freaking using special attacks. And we'll just go with Max Airstream, because that'll at least I know. Oh, Kelly. So, Victorious, let's see what all the hype is about. Halfway. Throat chop. Oh no, don't tell me he's going to go for it. Yep. Man, this game really likes to take a dump on Hop. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt, and we were able to turn the tide of this situation. I'll keep that Pokemon at Holbury Stadium until it can fully recover. Viger, if you ever need my help, just let me know. I mean, I don't need to give you my help, but you know. Here's my number. I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. You're more appreciative than my dad. So he keeps talking about her dad. I don't know why. Oh, hold on. Thatcher needs help with a beware. <laughs> oh, won't let me. Never mind. <laughs> Must have happened while I was in the battle. And now we go to Moda Stoke. Yeah, I tried to join you, Thatch, but. Alrighty. <clears throat> Raihan's turn. Champion Viger and Piers and Hop 2. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course I do. You two are red hot after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you've completed your first leg of the gym challenge. Don't think we really got the time for a friendly chin wag. Right. Actually, the situation's pretty bad over at the stadium. Yeah, thought we that be why we're here. Ah, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you all by my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. Let's begin. That's just sad. That's just freaking sad. It's a freaking Torkoal and you can't take care of that freaking thing? Ugh.
A Rillaboom, you should be faster than this thing. They're all using weak attacks against it. Oh, brother. Yeah, there it comes. Man, I am not going to sugarcoat it. This game really likes to just shit on Hop. There's no way around it. That is literally what is happening right now. Looks like we were able to ex extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Moto Stoke Stadium until it gets its energy back. And Viger, should you have need of my help, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't worry, I know. You all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youths. I wish you well. Oh. A Viger. Or, hey Viger. Did your Rotom phone ringing? Yep. Viger, we've got trouble. Those two weirdos have showed up at the Pokemon lab. What? Sonya, you alright? They keep rudely demanding I hand over wishing stars. I'm alright now, but get over here quick, okay? These guys are right creepy. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? <coughs> hey, my mentos. I've got to get. I've got. We've got to help Sonya and get back the rusted sword. Let's hurry to the Pokemon lab. He really doesn't think anything through. Sure does make him seem a proper fool. Nah, guess the word would be reckless. Guess we're headed to the Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by you till we see this through. Uh, you really don't want me to, like, have a voice after this. <sighs> I really need new frickin' Joy-Cons. We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars are being and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know who, how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. That's right. You could never understand how important these wishing stars are. You have no need of them. I have need of them to conquer the world. Goodness, whatever shall, should we do, younger brother? It would be certainly it would certainly seem we have been inconce inconvenienced, older brother. <laughs> Sonya and the professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced here. Ha! Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will? You've gone way out of bounds here. And I haven't forgotten about getting back the Rusted Sword either. Well, 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 I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? Uh, don't let th these goons put you down. That's right. You lost a battle, but don't lose that rocket spirit. R right. Steady on. Viger. Thanks, mate. First things first. Let's get these weirdos out of here. Weirdos? Oh, how they wound me, old brother. 
to be called so terrible a thing as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed, to address royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot, will not, be forgiven. This time, I've brought much stronger Pokemon thoroughly tr to thoroughly trounce you with. Uh huh. I find your attempts admirable. Mm hmm. You really, really brought a poor choice of Pokemon to this. So I'm a Air Slash Galisopod real quick. Of course, he would use first impression, not on me, but Dugwall, because again, this game hates Hop. And I'll OK the Galisopod so he can't even emergency exit. Dubwell's gonna kill itself just by trying to double edge a bronze arm because Hop's not good. Bisharp. Oh, no, nope, we're gonna burn the Bisharp real quick because probably that bronze arm's got a. Uh, or actually, no. Flare Bits is physical, so Light Screen is currently not going to affect it. So, Victorious, if you will be so kind. Thank you. There you go, double. But of course, it's going for double, and there it goes. Still has Pokemon to go with. I guess three each. <coughs> yep, three each. Flamethrower, Clink Clang. Or. Flare Blitz again. Now they go. Ooh! Again, double effectiveness. Victorious was not at full power. So Prenzoyan's gonna finish this bad boy off. Just blaze kick Bisharp. Hopefully Carbonite uses a flying type move against Phalanx. And he refuses to. Okay, Carbonite. Phalanx is yours to worry about. I'm a Pyro Ball the Doblade and be done with this side. I need you to take care of freaking Phalanx. It's not effective towards you. You're super effective against it. Please hit it with a flying type move. Thank you. Finally, you did something. Good on you. Done and done for right now. I did it! We won! We really won! The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost! <laughs> you only won because you two teamed up! Still, we offer you ruffians our praise. Oi! The two of you teamed up too! Give back the rusted sword and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy! Uh, sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. Those men are dangerous. Be careful. Well done. Your infiltration mission was a resounding success, it seems. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes, thanks to Master Sword and Shieldbird buying me so much time. 
Ah, oh, gosh dang it. What? Stop! Give back those wishing stars! No, no, dear. It would seem we've been completely had. If only my Alzheimer's hadn't gotten in the way, I would have said something, but I forgot. Why, this moment is so sweet. I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Our battle with you was just a little trick. We'd won before you'd grab a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell! Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. It was everything. It was it all a lie right from the start? There was no hope helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under the control of the royal lineage once again. Well, that's a plot and a half that's changed. Uh, give me one second. Someone needs a little bit of a pick-me-up. Where is it? Or no, it's in the medicines. There they are. Oh, nope, she's up. Never mind. Sonya. It's okay. Now I don't need to talk about the plants. Okay, she's not going to talk. Then it's time to head out and... Freaking chase him down. Wait. Don't just leave without saying anything. I tried to say something, but you were silent. But you were upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We're trying to be considerate, but... Of course, I need... I'd be down on myself. It's my fault. I got tricked by a naked and woolly's clothing. But that's it. No more feeling sorry for myself. That lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they were used for some evil purpose. So there's no time to be feeling down. Oh. <laughs> You've got some guts. You've gr certainly grown strong in the face of adversity, dearie. At least if I can remember. Grand. Dynamaxing draws out the strength from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the gala particles emitted by the wishing stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. That's awful. Indeed, that was, what an awful thing to do to Pokemon. The theft of the wishing stars was just the start. Things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have for forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Those weirdos said that they wanted to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Did she mean it literally? Viger, look at your town map. I'm detecting huge reactions at four stadiums now. They certainly get around, don't they? If they had trouble at the stadiums, then Monty could be in a real bad way. <coughs> uh, Spike Muff seems to be okay. There's no power spot stadium there. <clears throat> Righto. Viger, this is no time to be lying about. If Pokemon are in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get right out there and lend a hand. I I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for those Sword and Shield weirdos in the meantime. Alrighty. Onward and upward to the next place. So let's go to Stone Side first. Ghost type. Here we go. Oh, you came. You came to help me? Eh, something like that. Yeah, things look how are things looking. The people got out. They're not a gym leader. Oh, that'll be better next Pokemon. Nice one. Now let's all work together. That won't be doing it, James. Now we know what to do. I hope everyone could take one each, please. Let's go.
I think I can handle myself, or unless it's all of us together. Nope, it's just me against a oh boy. Alright, victorious, now's your chance. You're not fighting against something that has type effectiveness and whatnot. It's time to just unleash the full fury of your firepower. Close to Ocoan. Max Lightning. Now let's go with one well placed airstream. Finish you off. Blow you away. Thanks a lot. Pokemon has all calmed down. They can rest here. They should be fine in time. Thank you. Here, thank you, Cub. You can be good here to me. Uh, I'd rather you go help those who need you. So the reason those red and blue buffoons could make so many Pokemon Dynamax was because they boarded up so many wishing stars. Things will probably get even tougher from here. We still got three more stadiums where there's some Dynamax Pokemon running wild. Let's up the tempo. Yeah, <laughs> my middles. Something tells me I'm going to be running into BD here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch things up because I know it's going to be a fairy type. Or Spite, we're going to hold off on you real quick like. And essentially, your retrofit's going to be taking the lead on this. Another level 100 Carbonite that I have. Look at his rare league card. Has mass come off? That's cool. He's all sad. All right. Yep, I thought as much. Hmm, <laughs> you lot. Petey. What about the Dynamax Pokemon? You think I, the elite fairy type gym leader, would have any tr kind of trouble? That's right, you're a gym leader now. Though I don't know about a leader or whatever. Please, please don't tell me you came here to help. First of all, you're a bit late to be of any use, and second, I didn't need any help. Why'd I know you'd say something like that? We came all the way out here just to lend a hand. What an obnoxious gym leader. The next gym challenge is shaping up to be really something. Olinia tricked and used me. From now on, only I decide how I live. And I think what I should do now is have a battle with you, Vyga. Look, I'm sorry, mate, but this is hardly the time. Don't always be such a hurry, boy. You ace my quiz, so show a little composure. BD has already quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He's given you the luxury of some extra time. BD's life won't be bound by what other people say any longer. 
Although I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not too long ago. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that you mention it, I suppose you did. Yeah, yeah, as expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. But this has nothing to do with Miss Opal. This battle's for me. No, don't di- no, don't dilly-dally. Your only option is to accept. I'll battle you. My Pokemon and I have risen from the ashes. I'll grant you a brief glimpse at how amazing we've become. Fine. So I brought out the Carbonite for a Dynamax battle and was completely unnecessary. Fair enough, Victorious, burn them all to the ground. My days as a gym leader have made me stronger than you. Sure they have. Flamethrower. Send out Gardevoir, keep going. You got a point to prove, Victorious. She could just freaking burn the entirety of all of them to the ground. You might be the strongest champion in the gal in gallery in history. That's right. I'll carve my name into gallery's history too by defeating you. Uh huh. Bada bing, bada boop. This must be some mistake. I mean, I'm the one who's the gym leader. Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as the champion. It's painful to admit, but I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. Few. But I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of what fairy types can do. Now then, as the gym leader, I will do my duty and clean the stadium. Now that, now that's what I call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. Yeah, my legs. Even after losing his right to participate in the gym challenge, B still found his own way to crash the champion cup. Yeah, I'd say he's a force to be reckoned with. I think I get why he was chosen to be the next gym leader. He might be unbearable at times, or really most all the time, but he's a fierce trainer. He takes things seriously. Yeah, watching him battle you, it was plain to see how much work he puts into it. If you both are gonna keep talking, how about I fetch you a nice cop? Right, right, I hear you. And I won't be outdone by that BD any or anyone. On to the next one. Biger, we've got to help all the other places where these Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two stadiums left to check. The Ice Type. Which, the Carbonite that I have is still a Perfect one to use. So let's get this one underway. Get to safety, you three. Who do you think you're talking to then? We're here to help, not be helped. <coughs> My mean <menthols>. horse. <coughs> oh. It's you three. 
I was a little too into things and didn't notice right away, I'm afraid. Viger's here, so everyone can relax. There appear to be no less than four Dynamax Pokemon. I was just going over a plan on how to handle things. With all these strong trainers together, I'm sure we can work something out here. Are you all ready then? Let's head to the pitch. And who do we got here? Probably Frostmoth. No. Why, hello, Tear Pits. Oh, this is highly ironic given the circumstances. Because if you've heard my history spout on why I chose Victorious, Victorious is an aircraft carrier that led a number of attacks, one that was actually successful in taking down Tear Pits, who is my Frost Lass, as you all know. So, oh, this is so freaking ironic for this. Well, melt the ship. Is everyone feeling all right? Haha, <laughs> just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. <laughs> oh, of course you had no problem, Viagra. You really seem like a reliable trainer too, huh? I, I do? Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin whiter than a Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Piers. I'd like- I'd take care of the- I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled. No need to, for anyone to worry. Viger, it's not much of a reward, but I have a copy of my League card. Give me a call if anything happens. Don't overdo it out there. Actually, it's just one left. Motostoke. Looks like most of the stadiums have got this Dynamax problem sorted out. Let's keep up the pace, Viger. There's only one Pokemon stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. I need my menthols. <coughs> Can't you see? <coughs> I did not mean to do that. I'm still trying to fix my freaking Joy-Con controller, which is having a tough time going down. I just realized I didn't do anything with the Carbonite in that last one, so now we're gonna do this thing with the Carbonite this time. Yeah, frick. Nice timing, you lot. The stadium's just about reached its limit. There's simply too many Dynamax Pokemon running wild in there. Seems Wishing Star Power is being used for some evil purpose. So that's what's caused all this. That's a problem alright. But before we can get that sorted, we've got to do something about these Dynamax Pokemon. Glad we've got you all here now. Though we've already done the bulk of the work. We're here to help too, right Viger? Leave it to us. Fantastic. Looks like we've got ourselves together an unbeatable team. Especially you, Piers. The way you battled me in the Champion Cup, you really had my Dynamax Pokemon up against the wall. Things might actually go better this time if we split up our, our little band. Right. Everyone split up so we can take each so we can take each down one of the Pokemon Dynamax Pokemon. Let's do it. Who am I dealing with here? Haxorus. Let him work.
G Max Win Rage. Behold, Gigantamax Carbonite. Spike. To finish you off. <clears throat> you guys are the greatest. You really got me out of a tough spot here. I think I'd better snap a quick one to remember this victory by. I'll take care of the Pokemon that went wild. No need for you all to worry about that. Viger, give me a ring if things should go to pot again. I'm always happy to lend a hand if I can. The great Raihan is here for you anytime. And Piers, you and I have to battle again. This time, no Dynamaxing for either of us. Wishing stars being used for evil. I assume you all are already looking into who's behind it, right? Carry on, then. I'll take care of things here at Hammerlock Stadium. And that's all she wrote right now. Right. I think that's all the stadium sorted now. We didn't miss any, did we, Viger? All that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quick, they could just start all this up again. Was it Professor Sonia's supposed to be looking into where those two might be and once we find them again I'm going to take them right down nope. that's your rotom phone Viger it's got to be Sonya Viger it's me Sonya heh <laughs> called it the sword and shield weirdos got into hammerlock stadium and are headed for the energy plant the door to the plants locked but I think I can get it open give me a bit and you'll be able to get in there you hear that Hammerlock Stadium. Get over there as soon as you can. Ah, uh, we're right here. Even over the phone, Sonya sounds pretty lively. You're already at Hammerlock Stadium. The door to the energy plant should be right down the hall. Guess we should get going. Alright, we're gonna change things up real quick. Swap. Putting Victorious in front. Oh, it's just right here. Talk to Sonya, please. At him. Her. What? You're back already? Hold on a moment. I think I've almost got it. Huh? That's strange. There we go. One quick electrical discharge from the Zappy Dog. What? It, it opened? Yeah, Emperor, I should have known. Thanks for your help. Those two weird guys are probably up ahead. Be careful. Careful is my middle name. Oh boy. Well, well, well. It seems that you have broken the lock and rescued the stadiums from their perils. As expected of the champion. You, followers, give them your praise. Oh boy. What's with these weirdos? They're really creeping me out. Why are you forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? All the lies and fake stories you all believe? We did it in order to expose the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. Zacian and Zamazenta saved all of Galar. <laughs> what a fool. We always have been re revered as the resplendent descendants of the real hero. It's all because you ruffians had to go and save Galar from eternities, that, and that woman went and wrote a whole book about it. <sighs> yes, 
You said that the real heroes were Pokemon. You just carelessly changed history. What does that mean we are? You dare say that our esteemed ancestors were liars? Well, I could believe that you two are descendants of a Galarian king. That's right. Compare the way things were to the way they are now. It's obvious that the old history was better. It was right. To suddenly change great heroes left and right, it's complete rubbish. You're wrong. What I wrote was the truth. My hypothesis was that Zacian and Zamazenta have been protecting the Gala region since ancient times. Well then, if we are at an impasse, perhaps we should test which truth is the most truthy. If things are really, uh, are really as you say, then even if we bombard them with Gala particles, they should remain calm and stalwart. I get it. So all those sudden Dynamax Pokemon from before were just your little experiments. You seriously want to make the two Pokemon that saved all us all run amok? Hmm. It seems you are indeed capable of understanding something. My magnificent older brother is wrapping up the preparations above. You think we'll ha let you get away with this? Oh, so you want to take the lift up? Then you'll have to defeat us! Oh, brother. This is getting interesting. <coughs> oh, look, it's your surfetched again. How adorable. I'ma air slash it real quick and be done with it. <laughs> bada bing, bada boop. He fights no longer. Clang clang. Victorious will just burn it up. That's all you've got at your disposal, it's just to protect. Bronzong. Just keep burning him up. <coughs> Phalanx. Oh, jeez, you are not prepared for this. I know you're in a hurry to lose, but we should enjoy this for a while longer. You clearly were not ready for this. Oh, that tickled. You've now just made yourself weaker and more open for an air slash. It's not the fact that Charizard's overpowered, it's that his Pokemon were just perfectly suited to be decimated by a Charizard. Any Charizard for that matter. Oh, my noble Pokemon. And so I'm defeated. We've driven them back. Now we can head up to the roof. I recognize that cry. What was that sound? Ah, well, it appears that my older brother was given enough time. Should we head up? I'm gonna do something real quick as well. As I have a feeling. <laughs> now this is gonna get interesting. Oh boy. 
I did it. I did it, younger brother. Looks like it came following after the rusted sword. I bombarded it with galler particles. Stop! Zacian is in pain! This is all because I let them get away with stealing the rusted sword. Yes, expose your true barbaric brutish nature and reveal to us exactly who the false kings are. <laughs> ah, older brother! D don't attack me! Go into town and sow as much destruction as you can! It's trying to suppre suppress and calm itself, but it can't control all that power. Satian. I was hoping we could just calm it down like we did the others, but our opponent is a legendary Pokemon. You're thinking about catching it. Think again. I hate to admit it, but if anyone can stop it, it's gotta be you, Viger. I'll keep everyone else safe down the here, so you don't have to worry about a thing. You just focus on calming down Zacian. It's coming, Liger! So yeah, I cannot catch Zacian. This is Pokemon Shield, after all. And if I recall, Zacian in this form is pure flying. So this should work. Uh, didn't. Maybe it's steel as well in this form. Or maybe it's just purely resistant to it. Meh, either way. Zacian down. Zacian, are you alright? Hop, watch out! Ooh. There's Zamazenta. Zamazenta? I'm starting to slowly hear an echo somewhere. Eh, I could be wrong. Oh well. Thanks for saving me, Zamazenta. And it's gone. Looks like it still can't control all that power. I don't like this, Viger. Not one bit. I'm going to go after Zacian. And this belongs to Zacian, not you. And he's off. Meanwhile, Zam Santa. <laughs> Please don't hurt my older brother. Zam Santa. Don't. It's not worth it. As expected of the champion. You took complete control of the situation. Plus, it looks like that Pokemon is waiting for you. And here it comes, boys and girls. One battle that I'm actually going to have to take pretty freaking serious right now. Well, well, hold up, hold up, hold the phone before I do anything more. I swear, I still feel like I'm hearing an echo somewhere. But everything's muted on my end, so... Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, well. We're good. <coughs> so here we go. Ready the rusted shield to catch. Ready the rusted shield to catch Zamazenta? Yes. So using Zamazenta at full power is how I'm going to have to catch him. Zamazenta has an intense look in its eyes. Level 70. Don the shield activated. First gonna lock on. Before he uses Behemoth Bash to probably Oko Clean Clang. No, he can hold on. That's good, that's good. Hold on quickly for the lock on. Zap Cannon can't possibly miss now. Oi! I barely did anything to him. Which means Hyper Beam shouldn't do much of anything to him either. Yup. Well good, if it keeps building up its physical defenses, then I think I can throw somebody over there with a weak physical attack to start doing something to him. And if I burn through enough time, the timer balls that I have will work out a lot better too. Let's launch one more hyper beam into its face, and maybe Clink Clang will just fall from this. Okay. He's the next Pokemon. Who would be next? Hmm. Let's go with, uh, Victorious. It's physically built right now, and I saved so I can retry again if need be. So we'll go with the Air Slash. It's close. I may have to revive Clang Clang and use a few more Hyper Beams on it. Or, that'll do it. Thank you, Kling Kling, and Victorious. Master Ball saved for another day. Zamazenta, the warrior Pokemon. Hero of many battles. This Pokemon slept for eons while in the form of a statue. It was asleep for a long time. People forgot that it ever existed. And I go by one rule, I never nickname a legendary. Send the Pokemon with it as is. Wow, brilliant. Seems like you've been recognized by real royalty. As for you two. Ah. What a sublime battle. We were so preoccupied with fussing over who the new king was. How terribly uncouth-like. Hey, you. Spiky head. Uh, why should I go expecting those two to start learning some manners now? My younger brother and I will atone for our crimes. Please escort us to the appropriate place. If you really want to atone, what's with the posh superior attitude? Yeah, whatever. Viger... I think I understand why you became champion. <coughs> yeah. 
But please don't go calling me anymore. Seems like I'm only getting called out when you're in some sticky situation. <coughs> There's a menthol with that one, too. Professor Sonia, I can't ask you to forgive me, but I am truly sorry for deceiving you. I was really hurt at first, but I've re I've rallied. Thanks to you, I ended up learning quite a bit. Ah, uh, that came off a bit more sarcastic than I had thought it would. <laughs> please, well, please continue to do your best as a professor. <laughs> Righto, we've stopped them from causing any harm. Still, I hope Zacian is okay. And right on cue. Viger, you wrote him foam. Probably hop, I reckon. Hello, Viger. I just... I was just... Whoa, hey, calm down. <laughs> I suppose you heard that. Yeah, I've got Zacian here with me. Are you okay? Zacian started going crazy, so things have been better, but I'm hanging in there. I could sure use your help, though. Get over here quick as you can, would you? I'll be waiting for you in the heart of the slumbering world. He sure sounds like he's got his hands full. Guess some things never change. Even in its Pokeball, Zamacenta seems worried about its partner. We should go to the slumbering well and see how Hop and Zacian are doing. Yeah, that would be best. So let's get Zacian out. We'll put Rune in there. Clink Clang will be switched for for Unicorn, Zamazenta in front, and not only on top of that. One full restore. Go that high. Could learn close combat, but let's see what it knows. So Zamazenta is pure fighting. But probably in its shield form, it's steel fighting. So we're gonna get rid of Slash. All these mediums that or no, did I use all the mediums? Yes, I used all the mediums. So use the rest of the exiles. And the Zamazenta is now at level 100. Can learn Giga Impact though. I'll stick with Crunch. And we're good. To the slumbering well, then. Looks like I'm gonna have to walk. What are you doing here? Let me show you the center of the woods where Hop is waiting. Yeah, that would really help. There we go. There, there. Everything's all right. Oh, he being a testy good boy. You don't have to lose control. You can manage this. I know you can. You're the true hero who protected the Gala region, after all. Oh, got everything under control? See, I knew you could do it, champ. Hop, <laughs> you look a fright. You two made it. Yeah, well, I was just focused on trying to calm Zacian down, so... <sighs> Rushing in and trying to calm a legendary hero head-on was awful reckless. Looks happy now. 
Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Though I can tell you things, though I can tell you, things look pretty dire here at first. Wait, what? Really? You you sure about this? What did it say she didn't say? That it thinks I'm worthy of it. That it'll become my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that's that was it anyway. Wait, seriously? That's totally crazy. Is it? Is it okay? Really okay? Alright. Here I go then. Yeah! What do you know? You got him in a regular Pokeball. Hot caught Satian. You two really are something. I still don't quite see anything like that in myself yet. But thanks to your help, I'm starting to. Viger, I've got a favor to ask. Though I hate to look like I'm copying that posture, could be. Still, I won another battle against you. Everything started right here. In the slumbering world. So, let's do a quick save, just in case. Let's do this! Zamazenta versus Asian. Well, the wall, because, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so I guess this is the part where I'm just gonna wipe the floor with Zamazenta. Good thing I learned close combat. About to send out Snorlax, keep going. My goal was to always to surpass Lee, but he's not the champion anymore. I'm not sure what my goal is now. Close combat, Snorlax, and o code him. Rillaboom. Well, there's always a tried and true tradition of this. That Prince Oigan comes out and Oko's Rillaboom with a well placed Pyro Ball. Because that drum just makes a good target. Pin Urchin. Let's actually put two bits in there. But of course, when Zacian comes out, the Zamazenta's gotta come out and just darn that shield against it. Carbonite. Go with Victorious this time. Two flyers.
There's Zacian. Zamazenta, your defenses are back up because you got switched out. So it's like close combat, didn't even freaking happen. Oh yeah, I feel it, huh? Gauntlet the shield activates. Defense is risen. Intrepid sword activates. Attack goes up. So let's do this. Behemoth bash. And you survived. I'm impressed. And you didn't use Behemoth Slash, Behemoth Sword, or whatever it's called. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to show you the error of your ways. You'll go down now. Hard. And that's all she wrote. Thanks to you and Lee, I'll keep on getting stronger. I know it. That's our greatest champion for you. You really are strong, Viger. But getting beat this time felt a bit different. I may have lost, but I feel great. You know what, Viger? I think I found a dream of my own. I want to be someone who can help out Pokemon that are in trouble, wherever they are. I think I want to become a Pokemon professor. I started thinking about, I started thinking I might even when we were going around to all the stadiums to help the Pokemon that were running out of control. I know I don't know enough about Pokemon yet, and I've got no experience with this sort of thing, but I'm gonna study and learn a whole lot. And someday I'll become the sort of professor that you, Viger, and you, Sonya, well, the sort you would be proud to know. I'm going to take a different path than you and Lee are taking, Viger, but I'll still always think of you as my true rival. There's nothing I'd like better. Same here. We'll always be rivals. You and me. Aw, oh, no fair. You two are so young and cute. I'm tearing up. Sonya, getting a bit weepy in your old age, eh? What? I'm still young and super energetic. Say, uh, fancy becoming my assistant at the lab. What? I've got all the books and data on Pokemon you could ever want. Since you want to be a professor someday, I'll oversee your studies. And I definitely want to. Only, you sure I can really be any help to you? Of course. Mind you, it'll be a lot of work. Work's really been piling up since I lost my first assistant. Wait, so what do you really mean you're offering me the position to help yourself out? Eh, fine. I'll still do a backup job. You'll have my back too, right, Viger? Oh, boy. Well, 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 now, that certainly was a splendid battle and a refreshing back and forth. Eh, uh, what? Well, 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 now that really touched my heart. Huh? Sword and Shieldbird? With Piers? And even Lee? What are you lot doing here? No need for the noisemakery, young lady. We have come to meet with the young Master Viger. They didn't get a chance to properly apologize yet. And I'm here to keep an eye on them. They did technically descend from the original Kings of Galar, after all. Seems you lot have been up to all sorts of things while I was stuck in Rose Tower trying to take care of the mess the chairman left behind. You've no idea. Those two are forcing Pokemon to Dynamax all over the place. And for that, we are really, truly sorry. Look at our sorriness. We thought only of ourselves and brought harm to innocent Pokemon. We are truly caused, we have truly caused a large amount of trouble. 
Master Vyga, you helped us even though you did that we did those awful things. We are so worthy You are so worthy of the throne, you could say it's a dynamax sized amount of worthiness. I already told you to. Zacian and Zamazenta are the real royalty. Incorrect, we have abdicated the title to him. There are no other rulers but Vyga. Hmm. Now that I look closely, you absolutely do have the air of a celebrity. Well, fancy that. I think you've grown on them, Vyger. Oh dear, reluctantly, I'm afraid we too must... P we too must away. Our tour to apologize to those we've troubled awaits. Well then, goodbye. <laughs> Oi, don't go running off on your own. Hop. Uh, what? Just so you know, I saw your Pokemon battle against Champion Viger. You sure have gotten strong. So, we're, you were so glad I nearly sent out my Charizard without thinking, wanting to join in on the fun. It seems like you found your own path to walk in life, Hop. As your older brother, no, as your rival, you have my full support. I, I do? Oh, Leon gave you some pretty high praise. You look like the Meowth's got your tongue, Hop. Ah, zip it, Sonya. I do not. Alright, I guess we should get going, too. Right. Then it's a race to see who gets back home first. And probably Hop's gonna win because he's really good at doing that. And that's the true end. Oh, phone. Adventure across the gallery region to f find m many more Pokemon to battle and catch. The battle tower in Windown has opened too. It's filled with trainers stronger than those you faced up until now. Challenge them if you dare. And so that's all that she wrote on this. Save it. And then I have some fun to be had in the wild area. Which I think I'll just throw myself into right now. There's a lot more going on out here, probably, now that I've actually beaten the game. Post-game and all. Yep, there's a lot more energy rolling around out here. Probably a lot more powerful Pokemon to deal with, too. So, I think that is where I'm actually going to end it. Thank you for being along for the ride and seeing all the Pokemon shenanigans that I got myself into on this. And I really don't think there's any more that needs to be said about this. So, subscribe if you haven't. If this is your first time around, it probably isn't because this is usually filled with people. Oh, we're getting into this, but I'll deal with that later. Actually, give me a sec. Anyway, as I was saying, that's it for this. Oh, great. There's another bird. He'll die off screen. Uh, anyways, as I was trying to get to, that's it for this stream. Leave a like and all that jazz if you're interested and whatnot. And with that being said, I will see you guys when I see you guys. And as always, toodles.